Okay, how's everyone doing? Good to see all of you. Hope you're having a wonderful day thus far. Hope you had a wonderful evening or whatever time of day since uh, I saw you last. Hello, it's me. It's your boy coming at you with an. No, I, I, I was gonna do an ironic YouTube in intro, but uh, no. My, my cat appears to be visibly cringing at that. Uh, how we doing, Kara? How we doing, Danny? Definitely. Hey, UBS Superman. Uh, and he knows who might be lurking about. Hey, great mom. Yes, Kevin. I know you're cringing, but like, come, come be cute up here. Come on. I know you don't love jumping, but there you go. the goal for today is to finish up uh, routing Act 3, uh, including up through the, the brain. Let's get on then. Uh, I'll be in vendor jail for a while, so expect the first hour of stream to just be kind of chill uh, resource acquisition. Um, I could show off multiple ways of killing Gortash. I have, like, multiple strategies. Um, the one I want to do is the the reason I want to do it is just because it is different. Um, I don't... I've never seen anyone else kill Gortash in this way. Uh, at, more specifically at this location. Um, so that's why I want to do it. Um, there's definitely, like, better ways, but sometimes you gotta, you gotta go for style. Um, so we'll be going about that in that way. As far as I know, all other legendary actions have been done. I do have to, I do have to do Iron Throne today, I guess. I keep forgetting. Um, it's really not gonna be a, a whole thing. Guess I want more smoke powder bombs. Do I think 41 is enough? Um, we need smoke powder bombs for two more things. Uh, the dominated red dragon uh, and the elder brain. In a world where I got Marco Heshkir, um, that would be a good chunk on the dragon. Because the way dragon hitboxes work in this game is each of the proxies for each of their limbs is considered a valid target for chain lightning so if you blast chain lightning at a dragon you could have all of the forks hit it and the red dragons you can make them wet for vulnerable and if you're a tempest cleric you can do destructive wrath to force a max roll so you could pretty easily hit a red dragon for 800 damage with a chain lightning um, gets even funnier if you're a sorcerer, because then you could twin spell the Chain Lightning from Marco Heshker. You can't twin spell Chain Lightning from any other source as of patch 6, but that one still works. Um, that's tech not relevant to this run. So I, I plan on, uh, smoke powder bombs into fire surface with lightning charges and callous glow. That's how I'm going to kill the dragon and the brain. So I'm wondering if, uh, if 41 is enough. I should probably plan to have too many. Jake has turned a, a piece he took off of a cardboard box into a cat toy. And he's currently chasing it around my room, including into the air. Yeah, yeah, cat. Okay. Fair man. Twelve terras will. I can come back for more post iron throne. Oh. 
Every time I make love in your shape, you will know. You will know. One last tingle up your spine leads to a stifled moan. You struggle not to cry out in public. The sensation goes, but it could return at any point. How many hundreds of times will Harlep use yeah. that person? Now again, as a recap, of all the companions, Astarin is the only one who properly sees that as fucked up as it is and feels sorry for you. Everyone else is just like... Anyway, we can take your pick. Far more casual. But unfortunately, um, because I don't have a consistent way of dealing with the trap uh, in the House of Hope, I opt to um, allow Harlep that because it removes any checks with uh, getting the password or um, or not getting the password or yeah getting the password getting the password to get into the, um, the sphere in the archive I think with uh, current route on this the only class that could forego that safely is well, either rogue or abjuration wizard because uncanny dodge or arcane ward can provide enough damage mitigation to eat the hit from the trap safely without going onto the temp hp for all other classes you have to be willing to um, either stake your run on it or accept temp hp Trap scheming was entertaining yesterday. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> it was certainly a uh, strange hyperfixation. The penitent looks at you silently. There is this. I wonder if I move the Terrazul vendor to this waypoint, if he'll still function through a long rest. Could science that. I'm not building and tell my grandkids that was Fortnite. It's funny how many strats become just treat the game as Fortnite. Like in, you can do an entire little build um of you know a barrel wall, for example. That's one of the best defenses against archers, because it does actually function as cover. Um does this mean that Four Elements Monk is Fortnite Monk? Because the ice cube thing? Hey Cass, how are you? See ya. Heavy. Is 23 strength enough? Nope. I guess I need Cloud Giant for this guy. He's a big boy. Been, I've been okay. Hope you have been too. Swift as my feet can carry me. Why, why am I? I need to use camp supplies. Hey, Machete. Good morning. he's still there and his AI functions. Very well. Thirsty yet? Yeah, okay. 
Makes it much easier to uh, go through buying what I need. Looks at you, sir, the slight... Can't take credit for that idea. Trick picked up from God Evelyn. Dashing vendors at a central waypoint. Reduce the time to go between them. I'm probably going to start doing that more going forward. Everyone in Sanity Run's progressing. I've learned the very, very valuable lesson of turning squad mate auto ability use off. Oh, yeah, always good to have more control. Same kind of thing with reactions in this game, in my opinion. Anyway, we can take your pick. I think the exceptions to that in that game is if you're using Rex and or Ashley. You can just kind of let them do whatever they want. You can get them tanky enough that they don't really die. So them just running around doing their own thing is usually fine. I need to start selling stuff soon. Oh yeah, I have proficiency with Baldur's Giant Slayer. Is there any case where I use this? So if I wanted to be stupid, I could use this on the brain, but like, I have Ballast Armor. So, like... I wouldn't. But it'd be mildly amusing. Well, let's see what I can sell. Stuck in a room with Get Driver, not too Grogan, because we are actually got stuck in the previous room. Oof. That sounds like a job for Singularity. I mean, it wouldn't get them unstuck, but like. Nothing would be able to act against you. So there's that. Mm -hmm. Only enough Learics to lose it. Bio uh, biotics through the door. Yeah, yeah, the, the game can be a little silly like that. We can knock a little off the top and take your pick. It's... It's an older game. <laughs> but, uh, I hope you're having a good time with it. There was something else I wanted to make sure I purchased, and I don't remember what it was. I'm hoping that means that's not an important thing. Was it fire resistance elixirs? No, oh, I have 12 of those. Well, hopefully that's not important. Aerith not sell throwables in this act anymore. Seems like she might not. Which means I need to move the vendor from over here to the Undercity Ruins hangout, because um, I know he does sell bombs. So I need more Darkness Arrows from Fitz. And Damon. Like I said, Vendor Jail. I should also probably do the Stop the Presses quest to get that fourth inspo. Careful. People don't bloody... Best victuals and cures in the lower city. 
she guaranteed what'll it be? This guy understood the assignment today. I guess I should move Fitz down there too. Thirsty yet? I should really have a plus persuasion gear on while doing this. Now that I think about it. Vittles and cures in the lower city guaranteed. What'll it be? The penitent looks at you, sign that there is the slight. Hey, third monkey. Shop at Dareth first, then we'll move Fitz. As long as I don't knock any of these people out, their AI should still function properly, even when they're removed from where they're supposed anyway, to be. Take your pick. Now that's not quite how people work when you remove them from last light and then long rest. But that might be tied to the fall of last light trigger. Try the cutscenes implement. It looks like she thought would trigger the exploration. Yeah, it's. Mm. Mindara might be. Uh, out of reach again. That revolution of this take every vendor to single waypoint for maximum efficiency. Yeah. Um. We'll be doing that with some. Need something for defense? Or maybe oh, I never tried the play of ages thing that Rox wanted me to. Do that for Iron Throw. Okay, Fitz understood today. Could honestly be stealing arrows rather than buying, but. I'll buy these, then I'll go steal from Dammit we're doing. Yeah, I don't want to bring every vendor because there's some I really want to make sure I don't break. Like, I'm going to leave Derek where she is. Um, And I want Damon isolated too so I can steal from him easily. I should use Unlucky Thieves Gloves. Just to see if the theory works here. So, my 20th attempt at thievery, or my 20th successful one, I believe, with this equipped will um... Give me the burning condition and put hole in my inventory. With reverse rain cloak, I shouldn't be able to receive the burning condition. So it should be fine. Open 
and bring companion to refresh the shops with. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I would say yes, but also it's one of those things that the end result is is really kind of the same. But since I haven't done that this far, I do want to just kind of be slightly more of a purist than normal. Three, four. Should really clean up Damon's inventory. I can take that. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Three plus two daggers, buddy. It seemed like it. Nine. Eleven. So I'll steal stuff to confirm this how this thing works. Um, it's, it sells well, but it's light. Well. So reverse rain cloak uh, turns off the downside of unlucky thieves gloves, meaning I get even more money from pickpocketing because I can sell people this charcoal. These gloves are the premier thievery gloves because they just increase your profits per cycle and um, they're tied for largest sleight of hand boost I can think of with the uh, nimble finger gloves. These don't require a shapeshift if you're not already a gnome. Streaming alarm. Trade. Hey, Flora, how are you? Oh. 
for in vendor jail. Um, making it a little more efficient. Take your pick. Damon is my stealing station. We have Dareth here, and then we have everybody else uh, in the sewers. Not in the sewers, I guess, in the Undercity Ruins. Technically. Apparently we're in 190,000 points here, chats. All of them. Nice. Here, I have a completion of my first ever honor mode run. Let's go. Let's go. Did they hear that. Something caught your eye then? It was you, Fitz. Most of my words can take an eye right out. Best victuals and cures in the lower city guaranteed. What'll it be? Um, I shouldn't really need more cloud giant, but Bag that one just in case. Okay, he had bombs. Best victuals and cures in the lower city guaranteed. What'll it be? Penitent looks at you silently. Um expectantly. Use charisma to answer your question. Okay. Figured that since it does the same thing with Shillelagh, same rules apply. Cool. There's the slight. Yeah, being able to bypass it being charisma scaling on packed weapon is potentially pretty useful because you can get obviously strength way higher than charisma in in the bounds of BG3. You can get dexterity pretty high, but not higher than charisma. They're like roughly equally boostable. Um, by my recollection. That's a little less useful, but not nothing. Oh. Now we go steal from Damon. Honestly, I could move him somewhere, but. Yeah, the caster weapons are weird. If you have dexterous attacks, they just always use dexterity. That would be useful on um, that melee melee spell casting barbarian I did. Thank the gods. Um, I should have known you'd make it to the. Then you crater dexterity. Of course. To make a reckless attack more likely to to be forced. That's super niche, super awkward. Hey Trevor. Gave you here a strength elixir to still use Dex for a scimitar. That does confirm that. Should be stubborn. In character. I'm supposed to attitude with him. I guess I did raise attitude with him on this run, huh? Forgot that. Well, it's good he didn't catch me stealing, though. We'll sell stuff to him. Hey, Trevor, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. She's just a girl and she's on fire. There you go, Quack. Thanks for being here. Thank you for the support. I hope you enjoy the emotes, ad free, all the, uh, all the stuff and things. You know the deal. Thank you very much. So, I can probably stop buying many target arrows. Um, at 54. Only 35 darkness arrows. Need more terrazzles, smoke powder bombs, speed pots, flying pots, and this pots. Potentially more noble stock. We'll see. Maybe. And, 
out of money. For a comp for the content, it's my pleasure. I think most uh, watch streamer 2024. Oh, well, I appreciate that. My most watched is... Who would my most watched be? It's probably Say. Honestly. It's it's probably Say or So Black. Do they have the, the recaps out yet? Can I can I see that? Um Why'd I come to camp? Stuff to sell. I think I have enough Mighty Target Arrows. I doubt I'll go through 54 of those. Oh, we are now. And we are kind of at the point where arrows are starting to become a massive concern in terms of carry weight. Can't believe you didn't get the mod to change that song yet. I keep forgetting, because I have to like log into Nexus and I never remember my login, so I have to change it every time. Rocks, remind me before I do Iron Throne to, to test the Flail of Ages thing. Because, like, I, I want to do... I still haven't done it. Because I haven't really been meleeing things since since you mentioned it, but I do want to do it. Quag trade is top three for me. I appreciate being part of that trio. Monkey. We're going balls deep for Orin. Uh, Orin died yesterday. Um, but but you can, if if you want to. I'll only judge you a little. Orin got the mustard treatment. Mm -hmm. It's Flail of Ages thing. So if you have Dual Wielder, you can use Flail of Ages from your offhand to buff the weapon in your main hand. Kind of like uh, Drake Throat Glaive. Um, but that's notable because... Uh, the Flail of Ages causes... Um, condition thing or at least it may because this is listed outside of the elemental age spell logically it wouldn't but maybe it does that's what i want to look into penitent looks at you silent there is the slight Maybe I do need to go to the bank. I think the Ballists won that fight, though, so they're still just kind of running around in there. Something caught your eye, then? Alright, well, Best victuals. They say there's trouble. I suppose I don't need to go to the... So, then these goods will be like gold dust before long. The lower vaults. What? 
Thank you. I do in the conversation though. I was, I was shopping. It was very polite. Thirsty yet? Thirsty yet. All vendors in one place, that's a good idea. Hey, Nemesir. Uh, yeah, most of them, there's some I want to make sure my AI breaking tendencies don't work on. Um, but yeah, it's a little cleaner. Uh, 21 Terrazol. How about doing spore grenades? Three. Uh, I'd like more of those. Closing in on 60 bombs. I still don't feel great about the, the Orin throw strat in terms of consistency, but my plan is if in the live run I fail that throw, um, I do silence to stop the, uh, the chanters go through that whole process, and then I rat them all down one by one, and then I use surfaces to burn through Orin's unstoppable stacks. Uh, and then I just keep trying to throw her until it works. Once I've removed uh, Boon of Ball from the turn order, she won't be regaining the unstoppable stacks anymore. So that'll be my, my workaround. Fail to throw a game will crash. <laughs> what a tragedy. Penitent looks at you, Simon. There is the slightest. Something caught your eye then? Careful. Most of my wares can take an eye right out. <laughs> this has been pretty good about providing me the arrows I want. Very nice. Best victuals and cures in the lower city guaranteed. What'll it be? Any thirsty yet? Almost out of money. So I haven't really been stealing. Let's um sell what I can to Dareth and Damon. And then we'll assess if I need to go to the bank. Fiends like go off the bar now. And then Glamour Bar Grown up comes out. I mean not right away. I do eventually want to play all of the new subclasses, but Glamour Bar is not high on my list of ones that I am interested in. It's not like disinterest or anything, it's just there's stuff that's more appealing to me. Do I need Fiend Sling at all anymore? No, I can just sell them all. Are there more monstrosities? No. Beasts? No. Oh, 
elementals, maybe. I'm buying all this noble stock for a reason. Um, that reason being insurance against Gortash. Spectator, right? Is that monstrosity? Aberration. Anyway, take your pick. I'm doing carbossons? No. It's cooler than that. I just seem to figure out a consistent um, way to get him to move how I want him to. Morphic Pool Gort? Yeah, Morphic Pool Gort. But I'm also just going to push him in a hole. I need to lure him to um, where the intellect and uh, devour an intellect glutton ambush is. And then I push him in a hole. No, the thing is, if they cause him to transform then I won't be able to push him. I'll have to Thunder Wave him. But that's fine. Remember when we used Gifts on Laroican? The, the... The Wonder Years. When Laroican deserved respect as an encounter. Probably enough noble stock. What, 21? That covers 42 rounds of combat against Gortash with me hitting him every turn. If the worst should happen. It's a noble stock for in case Gortash uh, curses me. Of course. Wouldn't be alive to hold them. That is the only reason. Fifty-two darkness arrows. Probably enough. What do I need more of? Speed pots, flying pots, invis pots. Um. four grenades. I think I'm good. Those you're doing ritual casts or a Seraphox fine, I guess. Yeah. Um, I'll probably just start using the gifts more freely throughout the game at this point. Because I've ended like my last fly five playthroughs with, with either 9 or 10. So may as well just use them. Or hash demands respect now. Yeah, the fact that he transforms outside of his turn uh, has has rendered him an actually difficult encounter. The penitent looks at you sign. There's the slightest. And the fact that transformation clears uh, crowd control effects. Now I do wonder if preventing him from gaining temp HP is impactful there with um part the flesh from flesh render. that entity can't be healed and can't gain temporary hit points 
That wouldn't prevent the transformation, I don't think, but it would reduce the amount of damage you have to do. I require stabbing him with that rather than using other things, though. That's the, that's the trade-off. Like, I've never seriously considered using that weapon before. Cool to find use cases for stuff. Something caught your eye then? Careful. Most of my wares can take an eye right out. <laughs> I don't know why Fitz's inventory is so cracked today. He just has the shit. Trade's booming. Trade, you're booming. Best vittles and cures in the lower city guaranteed. I don't need more vigilance anymore. I guess I'll take more bloodlust. Am I doing on accuracy? I'm doing well on that. Low on diluted oil sharpness, that surprises me. Kidnap them here to rob them. I kidnap them here to buy from them. I wouldn't group them up if I'm robbing them. Um, we left Damon alone so that I can rob him if I choose to. But I do have money that I don't really have any other uses for at this point, so I'm just kind of going through that. Once I run out of that, then I'll probably start robbing again. But as it stands currently, I don't have to. Getting rid of the money is also helping manage my carry weight, because this is how close I am to my carry limit with the Mighty Cloth on. The 20 strength. So uh, I'm, I'm carrying a lot of shit. I don't have caustic bulbs on. Did I actually run out my surplus? Concerning. song is soothing in small doses i don't dislike it it gets really tiring when you're sitting in camp for a long time um because it's just how do i put it it's it's very active so it's um it gets it's more repetitive to me when i'm sitting in camp than just the um you know down by the river Or, um, I want to live. Hey, Luke Face Magoo, thank you so much for the Prime in the two months. I appreciate it. Hope things are going very well for you, and thank you for the support. Yay. Yay. 
and encumbered. What a surprise. I have a lot of arrows. Low on disguise kits, I need to go get more of those. Encumbered by a fair margin, actually. Hmm. Soul cherish necromancy. That's, that's fine. No, we keep Crimson Mischief because I can use it to get offhand. Um, Two weapon fighting style for offhand crossbow shots. Useful situationally. Keep woe because blight. Spell staff for spell power. <laughs> Want to live, look it up, listen to it on YouTube a few times. I won't leave my recommended list. <laughs> Take your pick. Already special arrows with horde breaker. No. There is a choice okay. to be made there. Take your pick. So I will be getting Rapture before going to the Morphic Pool. It'll clear by the time we get to the High Hall, but I do want to have it for Gortash. I want to get to 30 Terrazil, and then we'll start refreshing my, um, Disguise Kits. And then we'll do Iron Throne. Now, I don't think I'll be bothering to save the Gondians, perfectly honest. I'm just gonna grab Raven Guard and go. Oh, Melum's not even gonna be there either. Like, I'm just grabbing Raven Card and getting the fuck out of there. We've already killed Answer, so we'll be able to conclude Will's storyline as soon as Raven Guard's been saved. Anyway, take your pick. Blazels and Carlax are kinda in flux. How I've approaching things. Probably good on these consumables now. Light and Invis are the ones that I need more of. Than what I already have. It's fucking Gandhi. It's, yeah, they're. Yeah. Something caught your eye then? Careful. Most of my words can take an eye right out. <laughs> yeah. Thirsty yet? Restart. Does this guy always have four bombs? Has he had four bombs every time, or is that confirmation bias? I'm doing alchemist fires. Thirteen. Okay, that's fine. Uh, may as well make it around twenty. The 
doesn't flail range this thing, not working even on the flail itself. The penitent looks at you silent. There is the slightest. That's interesting. Just barely not encumbered. I'm not going to be in a position where I want to ever click this arrow of dragon sling because I don't know of a lineup where I can prevent the breath weapon from going for me. Um, he may be willing to do it while blinded, but I'm not actually sure. I just want to have them just in case. These are the ones that I need to keep track of. Oh no? You, you're, you're oh no -y. That's just about the same thing, or? Something caught your eye then? Careful. Most of my wares can take an eye right out. <laughs> yet best vittles and cures in the lower city light inches colossus sharpness thank you sir those are gonna go in the bag in case i change my mind about buying those I try to never pass up vigilance. Oh, hang on. Did he have four bombs? Three. So it's not a fixed four, but he seems to have bombs very, very frequently. Which is good. We're doing a Colossus. Eat. Doing that great on the haste four grenades. Um, rest of the stuff's going okay, I suppose. Right, one more cycle, provided he has at least one pair as well, I'll be satisfied for now. Um, 
I tried to just star and got chilled myself because I forgot to give him cold snap. Crisis averted. Oh, oh, you were worried it was applying to you. Anyway, okay. <laughs> take your pick. Yeah, that is that is a no no. Let you know the streams in the most hours. Watch this year recap 2024. Thanks, Crypto. I appreciate that. Uh, I want to see my recap, which let me have mine. There was one year where they just didn't give me like a viewer one. Oh, there it is. Okay. Give me a streamer one, but not a viewer one. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's look at my viewer one. Uh, my wo most watched channel is so black. Uh, followed by say, followed by trade, followed by mark, followed by cheese. Neat. Take your pick. Three K chats, son. I have less because uh, I do spend a lot of time just like watching while I'm in bed away from my keyboard. But I have uh, I have over a thousand hours watched there. <laughs> Some of them would be my eyelids watching, but I try to at least lurk whenever. Unfortunately, I found you too late in the year for you to be on my recap. Next year, you'll be up there for me. I appreciate that, Kels. It's very kind of you to say. Very glad that you uh, you found your way here. Find the recap? Uh, yeah, I went to Twitch homepage, and there's like a, a bar on the bottom. That's where I found mine. Something caught your eye then? Careful. Most of my wares can take an eye right out. <laughs> Ran out of money, finally. Am I gonna read the Necromancy of Thay? Probably not. I don't really need Blood of Lathander anymore. Hey Fitz, you want Blood of Lathander? Cannot safely use martial exertion gloves, so I'll sell those. Or I do something dumb somewhere. Thirsty yet? Best victuals and cures in the lower city guaranteed. What'll it be? Hamilton looks at you, Sarah's so the um. Great. Now I need to sell more stuff. Also, my top watch followed by Naz, so lagging power. I appreciate you guys. Like, it really does mean a lot being watched consistently at all by anyone but then being in the top few on the platform for anyone is uh, is kind of a surreal thing but i've been streaming for a, a while now and that's still something i can't quite get used to so, 
I, I appreciate it. We'll sell armor of agility. And bandit shields. I have this extra stack of 47 Thunder Arrows. Hmm. Anyway, take your pick. Now with that money from Dareth, I can go over to... Rivington. I wanted you to know we appreciate it. I appreciate you. So does Jake. I'm mostly Lyric. I just discovered your stream a few months ago. You're not my number three. I may have a problem. I, I appreciate that, Danny, definitely. Must be a hidden DC thing. Hardly ever applies to one with the flail itself. Combat log doesn't say anything. It's probably, usually with things like that, Rocks, it's a hidden DC 12 or 13, usually Dex or Con. That, that tends to be how those things work. Um, maybe if you're going for consistency, um, give your target disadvantage on one of those things to see if it starts happening more. Introducing reverb would also add some consistency. Circus. I forgot where I was going. I need a quick word. Mm. Mm. I would like to assume that that stack of disguise kits is enough, but I don't think it is. So I'll make sure I have a double digit number. Just because that'll allow me to freely switch between disguises and being disguised and not for certain things. Your tums. Yes! I have lots of stuff. Just for you. Um, yes! I have lost. Nice. Just for you. What are you doing, cat? Yeah, you you're, you're a cat. Right, Missy has problems. Anyone who follows him more than likely shares that problem. You are surely included. Well put, badly done. Well put. Sold half my drought poison just to not be encumbered. Alright, now we do Iron Throne prep. I think that's just Rhapsody and Irona. That was slow, maybe. To speed. I was not actually following. <laughs> it, it's hard to remember to hit that button. I get it. Mm, 
Or maybe I don't boost the speed. No, I, I do. Uh, Step of the Wind's more value. Step of the Wind is more value. Edor boots. In case. Also, just in case. Yeah, this is probably the Iron Throne loadout. Still carrying Connor, right? I could try to manage my weight in a way where I have Ballast Armor on for it. But I think I'll only need to kill... Three things. Oh. Ballast Armor would just be very efficient. Figure out my carry weight to see if I can even make that happen. How they have inconsistent HP values. <laughs> Just temporarily transferring Connor to for me, wait, wise. Oh, very encumbered. think that's happening so what I'll do is I'll just use bloodthirst apply ball start our preparations. Another stone palm of bloodthirst would be better here, but bloodlust.
I do need to go actually get the quest from the Umberly folk. I don't think I've done that. One thing to be told that all enemies in ME1 are vulnerable to uh, CC effects, another thing to literally yeet Benezia right up to the ceiling and in the cutscene and she see Rex on living shell after shell, she just harmlessly floats. Oh yeah, that like literally all enemies machete, including the final boss. It, if it's not a turret that is anchored to the ground, you can CC it. That's why they made it so in ME2 onwards you need to get through someone's uh, barriers. Um before you can actually do that to them. What is the cat doing? He's very cat. You supplicant as still as the water in her haunted lungs. A rusting pollutant that bleed finds the master of this poison. Agenda is Iron Throne, take Jahira to see your family. Actually, I don't even have to do that. Iron Throne. Stop the presses to get a fourth end spell point. Three finale. I guess I should go blow up the factory. Just gotta sneak back in. So that do. But I don't need to do that. I don't need to blow up the foundry. Go to tactic thus far has been to find whichever enemy poses the greatest threat. Have the biotic of the team lift or throw it, have everyone else use over a kill. That'll do it. This guy's initiative. Oi. You spot a curious metal contraption. <laughs> save So I will be using Connor to stack up momentum here. And then when we go in, my bonus action is going to be Step of the Wind. I'm torn between Step of the Wind Dash and Step of the Wind Disengage. I think maybe I pre-disengage. There's no Amelum dialogue, so I should be able to do this um, comfortably. There's also something else I want to try while I'm down there first, actually. Um... 
So I'm going to make a quick save here. We're going to go down there, then we're going to try something that I'm going to reload. Something that I'm aware you can do that I've never done, and I just want to see how it's how it functions. So Gortash wasn't talking there because I already locked in my alliance with him. Now you can supposedly jump down through the sub it's not over, then through. and go pre-kill all of the Kuotoa. Um, which naturally is something of interest to me, but I'm not sure where the lineup is. Can't be. I can't actually dimension door because of the mighty claw. Hadn't thought of that. Thing. That's entirely possible this is something that has since been uh, corrected. That should work. That's that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Character automatically used the ladder. Is why we test. but the circle shows up. Okay, curiosity satisfied. If there is a lineup for it still on current patch, it's uh, so precise that I don't care to do it. Spike. No, I try to free boots of speed. A well, step of the wind won't really like that. We science. This this is science. Alright, so what we're doing here is we're using Connor to stack momentum. Ace Helm will give me three stacks of momentum each time I enter combat. As long as I wait for the game to consider it a separate round, it'll give me that again. And I 
keep doing this. Spent zero seconds watching me. Fake fan, Ice Dragon. Fake fan. I've never even met you before because you've never watched me, clearly. How you doing? Now, uh, regarding this, uh, this momentum stacking, if doing this with Connor does not sit well with you, there's plenty of other places where you can do this. You just need somewhere where there's an area transition, uh, that does not have a load screen. Um, with, uh, something that's hostile to you that, that sees you as soon as you go down there. Uh, the Rats in the Elf Song Tavern are a great place you can do this. I'm exhausted. Better find somewhere to camp soon. And that doesn't require having hostile comments. This yep. Which recap, you're my second most watched 776 hours this year. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you're getting any enjoyment at all out of uh, my hyper fixation on this game. <laughs> this second most for White Freeze as well. Uh, Y'all are too kind. This 619 hours of my life went to the one and only Quag. I appreciate that, Keta. It is an honor. This Let's peek at mine again real quick. Um... I spent a thousand hours at So Black, uh, a thousand and four, five hundred thirty-five at Say, four hundred eighty-nine at Trade, three hundred sixty-eight at Mark. Yeah, that's for, that's for the uh, that's my top four. My number five is Cheese. Those of you who found me through BG3 probably don't know Cheese, but. Four hundred eighty-nine, yes, sir. You are uh, number three for me, trade. This I happily say you're the reason all my school assignments submitted five minutes before the deadline this semester. Oh no, shiniest pants! I don't. I want to be a good influence. <laughs> this Maybe only a mildly bad influence. So that watch time on uh, on stream elements, I was gonna fix it a long time ago, but I decided that it's funnier this way. Because now we have the shit posts of you all being fake and not actually watching me. Short time, been a I've been here 367 hours. That's a lot. Thank you, Stokes Donor. Hey, Jake is thanking you too. I don't know if you heard him in the background. This He's probably very annoyed with me roping him into all sorts of shit. This Great A's. Ooh, let's go. That should be enough. So, Mizora will be helping us to save Raven Guard. Um, as soon as he's out of his cell, Mizora will be casting um, Ace and Freedom of Movement on him. I will have to make him invisible. That's a thing. Steps. Huh. 
158 meters. Quick slower this shit. Any infinite key points glitches known? Uh, you can region travel to restore harmony of fire and water or wholeness of body if you're um, four elements or uh, open hand respectively. Um, and region traveling also refreshes the um, the key amulet. And then also um, short rest potions are infinite. Seven hundred ninety-eight hours. I appreciate that, Mila. So. 153 out of 158. This will probably lower my movement speed. Yeah, I'm down to 101. But more efficiency. Where's the Raven Guard? This way. So I am not here to save the Gondians. I'm, I'm here to save Duke Ravenco. Seventy-seven quag hours. I'm sorry, I didn't hit a thousand. The year's not over. Do you mean the fucking Gondians? I do. I do. Hey, two D dude. How are you? Hmm. Maybe I should plan around Titan String Humanoid Sling. Sling. Hmm, this works fine too. I could have changed helmets and initiative. Concentrating on something for strange conduits, not bad here. I could stab each one with bloodthirst and then many target, but mm. it's most important that I make Raven Guard invisible, because he also has one HP, if you didn't notice. I didn't need to step of the wind. I'm so used to doing certain things. Use a bomb and sure I get the kill. shouldn't need to turn invisible here. But is there somewhere darker? Open this cell, I guess. 
you change one thing about Act 3, what would it be? I could change one thing about Act 3. Um... Restore the cut Cazador content? Yeah. Don't do that. Take hands or not shit. Oh, that's a good one. That's a, that's a very good one. Did she not see him? Oh no, there she is. Stay focused. I'll keep Daddy Duke safe. Cut Cazador him with facial hair? No. No. He was gonna have more of an Okay, Mizora will not cast the stuff on Raven Guard if she can't see him. Actually scammed. Well, sorry, Will, you're in the pack for no reason. We saved all the Gondians. Well, the same cannot be Stu Craven God. At She's least one of them survived. You have my gratitude, friend. To be my th Seems like a good moment to talk. Yeah, we, we, we made it. I just. Uh, we were kept. They have no reason. God. Hey, Brad. Weak bait, but hello. <laughs> the bay is tink. Did you do this? Wonder if Amelia mocks you if even Tubin's daughter dies. I know if um if Tubin's daughter dies, but then it's one of the other Gondians, you get like, unvoiced Gandhian dialogue. You'll have the narrator explaining what they're telling you. Kind of cool. So, but with the bitch. With the bitch. That's me. I'm the bitch. Sure. 
early Oath of the Crown to fix the whole class. Oath of the Crown will be the only Paladin subclass of value if you are going to level 9 or higher. There will be no reason to do the other ones. Um, so if you're going pure class Paladin, far and away, you're your strongest option. Icebreaker's own damage mold? Yes. <laughs> Both of the crown get and makes it the best pick would be to do their poly subs. Spirit Guardians at level 9. That's it. That's the only thing I care about. Oh, yeah. Now, hopefully it makes it into the BG3 spell list, because in 5e, level 9, it, it gets access to Spirit Guardians. So, as long as that remains consistent, uh, it'll be a reason to go heavy class investment in Paladin. Now, Bard and Cleric still have Spirit Guardians and can get it sooner, but... I'd use the leftover movement from the Iron Throne to do this. Just fly from the Dock's waypoint to the Neurositor. Neurositor awaits your input. This will destroy the Founder. What? City. Let the Iron Hands reign supreme. I just would. I. I still want to believe you're better than that, Wolbrin. But even I am having my doubts. Never failed this roll, so I don't know what happens. I. This is. The gun. It is. I ex. When we next. Well. Here we are. Most unexpected outcome. Look at the journal update. I want to see. It also gets Guardian Faith at 13. BG3 doesn't go that high. Right. They're part of the passion list. Was, yeah, we saw these mods. Look, subclasses are adding. We're just making mods official. I mean, the implementation is going to be different. Uh, they were. They were careful to note that they're adding some homebrew into into the, the subclasses. Like, for example, the mod implementation of Death Domain does not have Corpse Explosion. To my knowledge, anyway. Feel free to correct me if I'm very wrong there. Mod Death Domain is awesome. What, what does that have to do with anything? They're not making mods official. They're doing their own thing. I find that it's important to keep that divide between fan content and official content. Because if you don't, people start spir spiraling into really weird opinions. They already do, that's true. <laughs> that 
Calm down. What's the reason for all the noble stock? Do you have only one HP? Just make sure you don't die from any negative effects. Noble stock removes curses from you. Gortash has a reaction that when you hit him, he curses you with a fist that hangs over your head, follows you, and hits you for uh, up to like 120 force damage after two turns. I cannot use scrolls, so I can't use remove curse. I can't use globe. If I do not have a noble stock and Gortash curses me, I die. Guaranteed. So we have noble stock. Twenty D ten. Sorry, two hundred, okay. not four. Not uh not one twenty. Two hundred. That's uh that's an amount. Hey Monkey Radio. using these torches because I just kind of gave up on saving Bex and Dennis. That's my bad. Water. I guess I could sell that too. Mention Cantor's multiple. Yeah, I would be surprised if we didn't get more. Like, they've gotta add a thunder damage cantrip. Because there's gear that mentions cantrips and thunder damage, but we don't have anything that does that. So it'd be really weird if they didn't fill that particular gap at some point in the game's content cycle, right? I think this is the final long rest. I think this is the final one. With Hexblade and Blade Singing coming, uh, my bet is uh, Booming Blade and uh, Green Flame. This will be really strong. I I think... Like, I would assume too strong in the case of Booming Blade with how this game functions, but considering they're implementing Hexblade, like, at all, I don't think they care about too strong. So, fuck it, right? It is exactly... Everything I did, I did for Boulder's... My duty is for this. I, I, you, I grab, uh, Uncertainty fills the air. Will has reached. Will? I thought it is in the water. There will be no. I am now for a, a car. Blade of Verse. Cool. Uh, Will's storyline complete. Too strong to give me too fun? Based. Warlock is my second favorite class in this game, so I'll be enjoying Hexblade, of course. And it does open up uh, some flexibility with, uh, maybe I'll finally be convinced to not play races that get uh, medium armor or shield proficiencies for Warlocks again. <laughs> Looks a tabletop warcaster. Booming blade won't work in here. 
Some things aren't going to translate well. Nature of the beast, right? Video game is uh, it's different. torturing house and make him hold his torch in that position for weeks. Yeah, he deserves it. You don't have any good builds with the heat items, reverse rain cloak, power quickness hat, etc. Just meme items. Uh, reverse rain cloak is one of the most uh, individually powerful items in Act 3. Okay, run. Uh, I absolutely love it. I have used it a lot on this run as well. Warlock second with number one clerics? Yes, Nightwing clerics. Um, so, this has a lot of applications. This giving you passive fire resistance uh, and immunity to the burning condition means a bunch of things. Fire surfaces don't affect you in any way. Uh, this includes reducing the overall number of times uh, Hellfire can tick on you, and that's impactful. Um, it also means that you can use the... Unlucky Thief's Gloves with no consequences at all. No negative consequences, I should say. On your 20th uh, sleight of hand check with these on, you get the burning condition, and you get uh, a bucket of coal put in your, into your inventory. Um, but if you are wet, you don't get the burning condition. So this just makes it so not only do you have plus two to sleight of hand, you just get more money when you steal things because you can sell all the coal and the buckets. No downside. Reverse Rain Cloak is also an option to have fire resistance in your cloak slot, uh, which is just really good defensively. I love this item a lot. And Heat is good. If you're building around Scorching Ray, which is a very powerful spell, uh, Heat helps. Um, among other things. A Power Quickness Hat, a little bit awkward because of the implementation, um, but you can get value. Uh, there's no true beam items in this game. You can build around everything as long as its effect actually works. You can build around everything. Hey Sora, how are you? Is combat hand axe also the only thrown weapon that doesn't go back to your main hand? Yes. Most of Akabi's joke items are not actually jokes. Reverse rain cloak, unlucky thieves gloves, combat hand axe. Um. Carafe of Everflowing Wine, sometimes Acid. Um, Staff of Mumbling Wizard. A couple others. Uh, the, the, the Gem. Very, very good stuff. It's to the point where in, in a lot of challenge runs, a copy RNG but kind of, kind of becomes a little bit of a bottleneck because if you have gotten... All of Akabi's joke items, you are unable to get Narolna, to my knowledge. Narolna and Band of the Mystic Scoundrel. So if you're going for a specific one, you can only get all but one of them. But that can sometimes cause problems. But they're good. They're good items. The reverse rain cloak also used to work with the water sparker boots. I don't think so. It, it doesn't make a water surface, it just makes you wet. Update for Cyberpunk and my Steam downloads. Ooh, nice. Closing in on it was the most fun fighter build I've done so far. So I had the most fun with the John Normal, but that was a, a restriction run. It was very simple mechanically. Um, a good comfort build that I do recommend is just Elder Knight Archer builds. You can just kind of do whatever you want, and enemies can't really do anything ever unless you allow them to. Oh, 
I need to stop the process too. I'll grab Raptor first. Do that. Now that the Sealot Foundry is off, I should be able to just do that. present any problems but I think pleasure isn't just physical fighter titan string bow is perfectly used for Akmalin too there's many more bows than titan string bow and archery only gets better as the game progresses so far than far far more than just act one and two in Act 3, archery is one of the most damaging um, damage-dealing archetypes. It's very easy to play as well. Edge is live. Ooh, nice. You have more options in Act 3. You have more options in Act 1. Whoa. There's many... There, there are no bad bows in the game. Why do you think there's only Titan Strength? Stop. There's a well with strength mod. Let's tunnel in on that. Titan String doesn't care if you have a high strength mod or not. It gets better with a higher strength mod, but even without that, it still does what it does. It's still just raw damage. Like, Titan String's bonus is minimum 1. You could have a strength score of 1, and Titan String will give, still give you plus 1 damage on everything it applies to. It's still the raw damage bow, if you are not seeding crits. But each bow has its own functionality. Like, Titan String bow doesn't give you a minus crit and increased accuracy, for example. Titan String Bow doesn't give you plus 3 initiative and advantage on perception and the application of fairy fire, for example. Different bows have different uses. Hmm, forgot you have that. Why well, I should have done this. Those are nice dual hand crossbows, can't go back now that I've done it. 
Two hand cross tools are certainly satisfying. But every ranged weapon in this game is good. All of them. And I recommend experimentation. We did not successfully identify the horny woman. We are a, uh, a gamer, after all. So now I need to use disguise kits. Help, but no tails. The woman's senses are heightened yeah. in her. But perhaps... Close your eyes. You have one what your oath are and you was the RS. Um damage rider is a damage source. Basically there are some bonuses, bonus instances of damage that count as instances of damage themselves, allowing them to receive certain bonuses again. Um Crater Flesh Gloves is infamous example of that. Motivated. Alright, so we have Rapture. Um... Now let's go stop the presses for my final inspiration point. So notice how the uh, the Worms Rock waypoint disappeared. Worms Rock is hostile to me, but I already locked in allying with Gortash, so as long as I don't go there and kill him, I can still just go to the Morphic Pool and he'll show up there to help. Let's go to Basilisk Gate, actually. Least expect it's a cool bow. Least expect it is an underrated bow. Raider's Wounds, Rat Bat, Divine Strike, Divine Smite, Soul Breaker, Topple the Big Folk. I think those are the ones that survived. Can't think of any more outside of that currently. There's probably one, but you know. Do I actually need the quest? I'd actually need the quest. Um, I can get that from Lens. I've never actually gone for this inspiration point before. So as far as they go, Divine Smite is the weakest one since it doesn't quite get everything. But, 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 Divine Smite. Quest is still here. Hang on. This guy is still here. I've already. You. You an adventurer? Bring the head back. I don't know if I can even do this quest because, like, is Wolverine even in the city anymore? I guess it would be Barkus in this case. I don't know if you can do that quest that way. I'm so curious. about your experience at the gate today you want some fluff piece about the room of, of course i can't write any of that i'll try sorry maybe that's enough 
almost forgot how unfathomably horny Caden actually is, and I mean, just want to have a chat and relearn whatever lore of Caden's backstory forgot to do the meetings, he starts flirting. Yeah, they do that. <laughs> two things I'm still not confident in this game, use a two-handed melee and use a two-handed ranged outside Titan Stream using this as a stat stick. Um, if you're looking to get comfortable with using a two-handed range that isn't Titan String, uh, try out Giant Breaker or Herald. They apply Reeling and Bane, respectively, to enemies, so they're really good defensive options because they reduce enemy attack rolls, and in the case of Herald, also reduces saving throws, allowing you to control them more effectively. Let's move up next to the Gallows. My name's Estrister, journalist. I speak to the people of Baldur's Gate. You are quite... You are, after all, star of the next Baldur's Mouth. <laughs> it's our juiciest edition in it. Darling, now. Ah, thank you, Rox. She is fancy. Yeah, yeah, She's uh, she's got that thing on. This should just be as simple as breaking into the uh, the basement, right? Here we go. The people of this city have hero and villain peace. I'm a hero. John no. So because of the steel watch foundry is uh, is gone, the patrols here don't actually uh, function. I don't know what to do next though. I've done this quest like twice ever, by the way. trash cans. Very red room. Never wanted the easy path. Trash can. It gives me an idea. Low AC tanking or not an abjuration whiz. Taking damage reduction is not too much. Yeah, you could um, radiating orb reeling, uh, bane, ability drain. Um, to get someone to miss you even when you have like no AC. Some tank hunter. Yeah. What's in here?
one's comfy. Um, big armor giant breaker bane watches you AoE everything, nothing can touch you. Mm -hmm. The elevator back up. One in that room to the north. To the north, okay. Hey, Narcos. You don't show up with alt. What, what, what am I looking at? Also, being perfectly honest, I'm half checked out of this because I just want to go fight the brain. Other room. So this one. The wicker basket? The block has a forged sheet article okay. engraved upon it. It speaks positively of you. Okay. An elevator up or an elevator down? There's one that gives better discounts than that one, but who cares? Yeah, I just want the inspiration. I don't really care about the result here. What do I do next? Don't tell me there was a perception check I had to pass or something. What's in the red room? Let's see. We have the armor for luminous armor, though. Yeah, that's 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 the point. Trade wanted to benefit from Heavy Armor Master, which is massive damage reduction. And Luminous Armor has no damage reduction and relatively low AC. It's good AC for Act 1, but as soon as you get past, like, level 5, the things you're running into, they're just going to hit you um, if you don't already have the full setup up and running. And then there's things that can damage you that are not attack rolls that Heavy Armor Master is good for. If I'm remembering trades logic correctly. Room to the south now. Okay. And this? This looks like a false wall. But I don't know, it's this door? Okay. This one. I vaguely remember speak with animals being necessary here, but that's probably wrong. Okay, there we go. Over here. Thought I recognized you. We both love cheeky with this. You know, why don't we change the headline? Well, first. I've got to release. How did... Okay, um, having freed Dolly thrice makes this guy willing to, uh, vibe with you. Right. Cool. There's something I need to route into runs more. But I was just here for the inspo. Cool. Thank you for the help, Rox. Okay, fast travel from this area. Okay. 
never seen that quest line before. Yeah, so doing this uh, and getting a favorable outcome can uh, give you discounts with a lot of vendors throughout the city. Be the different one instead of the one in the bin. I grabbed one in the bin, and so I don't know where the others are, but there there are others. Trying to avoid the traps that I know are here. I don't know how far down they go. But if I just jump like this. I had 22 AC on Hunter, nothing to really hit me outside of very accurate characters. Because with uh with enough attacks, reeling plus radiating orb can stack to a point where you can make them miss their next one for sure. And as long as they have enough orbs, they'll probably miss the following one too. And that's without accounting for applying Bane, Ability Drain, Multi-Attack Defense, right? Okay, um... Pretty much go time. There is a very solid argument for me equipping, um, the Jolt Shooter. For the brain. Brain time, brain time. We have, uh, we have two things with legendary actions to kill, or three, to kill before the brain. Uh, we have Gortash, we have the Spectator in the Courtyard, and we have uh, the Dominated Red Dragon. Fight Gord of the Morphic Fool. Fight is a word for it. Fuck him. No, no. We're, we're, we're gonna kill him there. Fight isn't the right word. We're gonna kill him there. Okay. Getting the lineup to be uh, consistent is something that we're gonna science out a little bit. Fight you. No, I'm here to kill you. Ultimate Gohan has no chill. Like, he's he's a demon. So there's an argument for me completing this fight. For safety. Yeah, and I think that's exactly what I'll do. Time to press ahead. Dominated. Controlled. Get it done already. Thank you.
It is important that I kill these. Softy always end up fighting Orin first, who doesn't murder off one of my party or Yenna. Yeah, you can still do it in the other order, and it'll be fine for them. You just need to either attack her without doing the dialogue, or pass a, a persuasion check. That one's position is currently displaced. I don't like that. Verifying they're all still surprised. Now, it might seem questionable to expend resources here, and that's because it is. Um, I've just simply not done this fight often enough to feel confident uh, in stealthing it out, because uh, intellect devourers have blind sight, so darkness doesn't work on them. I would have to depend on boost speed. So I'm spending some kind of resource, regardless. This blind immunity behaves the same way as blind side. Interesting. Us and health is going to use it at the exact same issue. Good to know. It was exhausting work. I actually was a live wire for eight hours straight. Now I can chill. I'm glad you can relax now. We get rid of the caustic brine surfaces. Blood Gluttons have Piercing Balm. Do they? Oh, they do. They just have Piercing Balm. That's funny. Didn't know that. Never looked. Always learning. Put out his torch. Okay, he's unwilling to jump across the gap. So here's what I need to do about that.
This way, quickly. We need to talk. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. Or we don't need to talk. I need you to be over there, buddy. You're gonna be like this. At the ready. I need to be far enough that he can't get me with a smoke powder bomb. Fire a push, which is awkward. Fine. not throw. Okay, bye Gortash. One day I'll catch There's far easier ways to Kill him by pushing him off or something, but that's funny. And I like it because it's funny. The other option I was investigating for that is this room right here, this locked room. There's a chest in there. And like, you can just. Chest. You can just go in here, block the door, stand over here. Even in his, uh. His, his Shrek form, he can't. He can't do anything to you. Except his uh, his retaliation, which is why we had all the noble stuff. So I will not be expending inspiration on this DC ninety nine. It's not something that matters to me because I can't I can't build strategies around that.
this will be the loadout. Hashtag's still a thing, or is Elon ruined that for everyone too? I think hashtags are still a thing. The mushroom? Yes, the, mo the mushroom. How can I forget that? It's not saving Balin, it's bringing the noble stock to Dareth. You can still uh, bring the noble stock to Dareth and straight up murder Balin if you want to. I'm just gonna get the roll, watch this. Can you imagine though? What if? But yeah, it's, it's better that I don't get it. Something more. We want uh, cause I need to build my strategy around something reasonable. Don't ever risk your run by jumping like that. from that quest. Yeah, yeah. I've been using those gloves so much. So, that necessitates saving him. Squid friend. I hope Voss isn't mad at me. It should be fine. Only squid friend. <laughs> Kill one of those. Voss is still chill, even though I killed Cadenas. <gasps> it's him! Chad, it's him! I can't believe it. Do you know who this is? Bjorn to be the one, of course. Really knows you, right? All he saw was darkness. True. Isn't the Sayest have? Mm hmm. Baldur's Gate is a place where anyone can find what they need if they're just willing to fight for it. Today, it's a uh, ligma. Got him. <laughs> See someone covered in blood with a mind flare behind them. This is the one you spoke of. The very same, the one who comes to save the city. They will lay the final stitch on the fate of Baldur's Gate. 
Tempest examines your illithid ally with suspicion. Appear it, observe this map. The first eyes. And I'm not a You helped Arabella, have an aloe vera, Arcus, Raven Guard, Cola. Oh, Maklupa. I forgot on Maklupa. My people have I was the first Dark Justice here in a generation. All the strength of the I got the tag for Shadowheart, but okay. I would nature glad to have the air. So yeah, no Isabel. Something to step Even though she should be here. Isabel really just hangs out in your camp forever. It does nothing. It's crazy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that plus one to all stats doesn't actually do anything for me. Oh, I forgot to say Floric. Whoops. My bad. She's, uh, she's still in prison. Whoops. That's an oopsie. Or the bug in a previous patch for your dirt and Sarah was here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can get Saravok here if uh if you're dirge and you uh you don't kill him. Uh but the bug was that as soon as the conversation would end, sometimes he would just aggro. little problematic. These things have stayed interesting. I have to keep going. The Orpheus is going to help himself, not me. Here's one turn me. <laughs> this this Vigilance. For the dead shot. No, I don't need sparkle hands just yet. Just casting bitter force makes the music very quiet. Never really paid attention. Maybe I actually go reverse rain cloak in case there's a stray fire surface. Yeah, Dutch has to go back from Carlux from the city. Yep. We actually do want to fail that insight check, by the way.
I don't love that there's a mind player right there. Also, it doesn't really matter. Did boss show up? He did. Start a romance laser. Romance and laser. Yeah. Lazelle is great. I enjoy her. Actually, hmm. I could prop killer sweetheart. I don't think that's worth it. So I need the sparkle hands here. Oh, I should make a hard save. A lot of noble stock. It was uh, just in case Gortash didn't go the way I wanted. Pointless now. shot here. Yeah, ultimately I think I do. This is the correct year. Orpheus has vigilance. So now we get our momentum capped. Same move speed thing I did uh, for the Iron Throne. Maybe. 
Poor Connor. He won't stop attacking me. How many cantrips? This many. <laughs> really? I knew statistically that was gonna happen eventually, but lol. Imagine this is why I'm using a surprise round trade. Lose your no hit, the Connor. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would never live that one down. Peace, many cat treats, something like that, yeah. Flying too close to the sun to prevent them stacking. Yeah, that'd be that'd be a way to lose. Orpheus is watching. He's not in the combat. He's vibing. What do I equip for my own benefit here? The spell save DC affect bombs or are they fixed DC? I don't remember. Anyone know? She loses no hit because I'm missing two attacks. Connor's going a crit. That's why I'm uh, I'm doing it with a surprise round. So I have my attack, my extra attack, my bonus action, and then another round of that. If I somehow miss all of that, then I do have Terrazul and turning invisible. But like, well, the possibility even being there. I guess we'll see if spell save DC. The smart play would be to, during the surprise round, set up a darkness cloud that I can hide in.
I'm not sure how that'll work. We'll see. Okay, I do have stuff with the wind. Morpheus is not in combat, or he is in combat, but he's uh, an unperceived. I'm gonna have him fly over there. Game actually scanned me out of my darkness cloud there. I took my action and just didn't. Okay. Sure. Check if the Guardian is racial features. Does not. Uh, movement speed's been broken since patch 5, so I can't see that either. I guess I have to do this now. So I'm gonna play this out as a worst case scenario because I get nothing done on this turn now. Um, and I'll have a double lethargic turn incoming, which I hate. Target into darkness from there. So, double scanned. The Crown of Karsus cannot target into darkness arrows. It, it has an angle there. Okay. Got two turns, let me move. Why were you stunned? Like, that doesn't happen for no reason. What happened? Morpheus is invisible, but visible? Okay. Sure. There it is. The, the place where the nether stones can... Dream Guardian the Brain drops two unique pieces of gear and the plus two spear. That's... Did I space more fast enough? I don't think I did. No, I did. Let's see if the Crown of Karsus can get from here. I know a spot where it can't hit you is if you're in darkness right there. But it may be dependent on certain sections of the arena. Got overwhelmed really fast and things just kind of snowballed. Gotcha. That's what's supposed to happen. But... Apparently, over there. Okay, we're going to use the Brilliant Retort as a rangefinder. Is 
there should be fine. Am I in the darkness? I think so. Telekinesis is a potion at the Dream Guardian. That's cool. The ground gonna move. Uh, patch by. Thanks, Gage. What telekinesis healing potions at the fucking dragon? Stupid I should be doing this from high ground for extra multi bombs. That'd be a better setup. This will give me lightning charges. Okay. So I should be using speedy light feet, though I don't have proficiency. Do I even have them on me? I don't. Uh, dull shooter. Hmm. Getting lightning charges is difficult. Speedy light feet or Marco, much better for that. That miscalculation might actually make this not doable. Because I need lighting charges for the brain. Suppose I hmm, I can I can make that work. Kind of. Question. Does me hitting Orpheus that that's still fine, right? Because Orpheus isn't me. I'm gonna need to uh, hit Orpheus to get lighting charges, I think. seems slow, it's because it's gonna be. Because he has no throw action. True, true. Yeah, he sucks, I forgot. Like the woodland being has no jump. Are we sure she doesn't have a jump? I'm pretty sure she has a jump. Hmm. 
Maybe she doesn't. I think she didn't, but that was fixed. Because, like, the wiki isn't showing one, but I have a distinct memory of using her to jump. So, like, I don't know. I could be wrong. The dream people die? Yeah, there was one. Blew it up. Lighting charges would make the scope much faster. Lighting charges high ground. Use this to get uh, lightning charges. All right then. I'm hoping I don't get caught in a lethargic turn in the artillery. There's a possibility that happens. Blood comes easy these days. This is why we science. the problem. So that's gonna hit me now. Is that a deck safe? I could take zero with evasion, but... Okay. Um, let's run this back from the high ground. It's possible that I can get this done in a way where I can kill the dragon before the nautiloid starts making shots. Um, if I can't do that, then I need to avoid using haste. Or that kind of haste, because I can't have lethargic rounds. We have a ton of movement, so I should, uh, I should just move up. Hey, Sage, thank you for the uh, three months in advance of a tier one sub, and the two months thus far. I appreciate that immensely. Thank you so much. Yet. 
place where the nether stones can enforce I uh... okay, so good lethargic. Haste four grenades, celestial haste, the cleric one, there's no cleric haste. Um, but haste, haste four grenades and uh, celestial haste from Gontarmail are the ones that don't cause lethargic. There goes, it's going well, Sage. We're routing out the brain fight. What's the range of counter spell? 18 meters? Or is it 30? took four meters of movement, by the way, on Orpheus. His mobility is insane. For a Twitch recap, I spent 160 hours here. It doesn't feel like a lot over the year. It's still kind of nuts. I really appreciate you choosing to spend your time here. Turns out both times the Norvis roots have the same amount of items tied to them. You could do... You could do a route where you... Hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. Amps has more? Okay. I'll be right back. One sec. Sorry.
I'm back. You want to tell me how Halson got the artifact in his inventory? Mm -mm, no idea. Amps, eat Orphic Hammer. Good idea. I think. Disarm the Emperor safely after an undergrad as you just go to impossible. Sounds right to me, trade. 1659 in the stream, most of it's lurking. Very kind. Appreciate that, Sora. That's that's a lot. My difficulty in getting lightning charges may end up uh, making this strategy less tenable. Um It'll it'll remain doable. That's the kind of damage I want to see. By amps. I just swear one might still do amps since I rarely do it. Hmm. Surface and all grab lighting charges. Guess that's where I do this. First step is the hardest. Dragons probably six rounds out from dying. Maybe seven. The plan is to kill the dragon, then kill the arcanists, then go in. So no circle on us. Six turns of darkness remaining. Actually throw him there. Even if I do splash you, still okay. Good at them. Should have a late not a late. Get my lightning charges.
Okay, this means I'll need to move the darkness this turn. Still have lightning charges for the following turn. That'll be, um, throw alchemist fire, bomb, then hide. Bonus action this turn to refresh flight. Survival is all that matters. Still be fine here. Trusting that circle a little too much. Are you dashing? Oh, okay. You're dashing because that is not inside the darkness anymore. It's fine. As long as the dragon doesn't move. Which it may. As long as the dragon doesn't move, it's fine. There, it got me hit. Yeah, so Kaylee, did you know that, like, if you try to cast darkness here, uh, sometimes it just takes your action without applying the cloud, but sometimes it lets you put the darkness cloud there, and it doesn't protect you from... Yes, yeah, there's certain spots that it doesn't protect you from the crown. So over there it didn't. It's fine here. But like, fuck man. Still have that fire surface there. Get you both. Really? You're burning. I don't have to care about you. Here's what I'll use you for. Lighting charges. Strat, yes. For some reason, when you hit the brand the earlier, you start burning. Oh, weird. So, never seen it, likely never will. What happens is the fight side of the Emperor instead of Orpheus. The brain will send out customized aberrations based on the classes of your active party. instead of the Emperor and the Dream Guardians. I have no need to do this, but I am going to refresh Orpheus's in this. So it makes me feel comfortable.
placed that in like the most toxic way you could have. Any turns left on darkness? Seven. Okay. Can I get this mind player? I don't want to actually. I want to keep it in range to get lightning charges. The only mandatory kill left in the game is the brain. Now I'm going to need to use a bunch of turns to honestly stall and think of how I'm keeping my lightning charges for the, the brain fight. I It might come down to me attacking Orpheus to get lightning charges. Which, that's him being hit, not me. So is that fine? <laughs> started early. I'm probably going to go good ending on this, to be honest. Rotten food work. I tried it on a speed pot on the ground and I didn't get um, lightning charges from, from throwing a dagger at it. Hey, what's it? Wag to you as well. Still hiding, that's nice. Of lightning charges with medium armor, so we're good without we needed to shoot an arrow at the end. Um, yeah, I forgot to bring those, so like I can still take advantage of those if I bring them, even without being proficient. Um, they just shut off my spell casting, but that's irrelevant to thing. But I didn't bring them, so I'm using the uh, the gloves. I didn't get Marco Heshkir in this run either, so no luck there. Can't build it off spells. Have Callus Glow. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Lightning Charge, Callus Glow, Bomb. Or, um, Dragon End Brain. As long as I can maintain the fire surface, I should have enough turns to do that. Um, by maintaining, uh, haste. There's no need for me to hide. So I can use my bonus action to constantly destroy eight spore grenades for myself, and I can loop Terrazil.
If I correctly, rogue. I'm a shadow monk. And don't throw a brilliant torch. Uh, I think I'm wearing reverse rain cloak, so I won't get burned. All the enemies with the legendary action, which would you say presents the greatest risk to the run. With current strats, I think it's still Orin. Current strats on this character is still Orin. I don't think they can counterspell this, so let's see. Hoping this works out the way I want it to. Okay. Vision clouds, uh, not fantastic. Try me. So I'll improvise melee weapon him out. Try this again. Please get both of us. Or fucking don't. Video game. Video game. How do I do this? Fucking... Orpheus? 
Go invisible. Did I go invisible? I went invisible. Thanks, Patch 7. Yeah, Patch 7 did mess with the logic of... of... And he's... Alright, we, we gotta redo this entire attempt. Because now I know that I can't count on that. Ugh. I hate that. I hate that. So here's two annoying things that have affected my strats in Patch 7. Um... People always ask why challenge runners hate the game mechanics of of patch seven. Uh, thing one: when you throw someone, sometimes they don't go prone until the start of their turn. That affected my Mystic Carry in planning. And then with this, when you throw a potion at someone, even directly under their feet, they often don't get the benefit. incredibly frustrating. I'm super tilted. You did multiple saves as a custom game? Yes, that's why it's routing in the title. What happened? I went to grab food for two minutes. Uh, the game told me that no, I can't make Orpheus invisible. Two direct throws of an invis potion at him did not affect him. I need to equip this. Still breathing. Morpheus is in base is bugged out right now. That's cool. I'm very annoyed. There's are routing just to know the way to make custom game laundry settings. Yes, when you click custom game, you click the option that Rule set and you you click honor rule set. It's the first option. Customs also, since patch 7, some funky bullshit bugs caused uh, previous unfair game overs, right? Yes. Speaking of patch 7, still believe challenge runners should have a direct path of communication with their you all find way more bugs than anyone else. I don't believe that it is beneficial to game health at all for any category of player to get preferential treatment, including in terms of direct communication. I say this as someone who would benefit from such direct line. I don't think it's healthy. I don't think it's a good idea. any new player would fight Zarel and think whatever is going on with her is okay either. Yeah, Zarel and Ethel working less less often. Like, more often than not, they're just completely AI broken. I don't think that's something you need to be a challenge runner to see. Or 
one was used for bug reporting. There's a bug report line of communication that everyone can use, yes. Next time, I'm going to kill these four mine players so that I can cast Invis on Orpheus. Should get started. <laughs> We probably spent a lot of time in this fight today, by the way. Uh, we've been live less than four hours, even if I were to beat it in the next 20 minutes. We're, we're probably running it back uh, a few times. Fire lightning charges. No weapons right now. Maybe I should. Suppose I can manage my inventory better and then have uh, let's close on for this. players don't attack when I'm not hiding in darkness. So I don't need to hide. I mean, I would need to hide so the dragon doesn't reposition though, correct? And the dream guardian? I don't have a better use for my bonus action at present, so. Oh, I suppose I could fly down, put down... I'm not dual wielding though. in case making Orpheus invis while he's casting is more safe. Yeah, because they their AI is set up to Mind Blast. If it detects you here and you're not targetable, it'll Mind Blast. Or you wouldn't take damage. Like, if you're in a globe, for example, they prioritize Mind Blast. I don't know how thorough that um, AI is, but...
crush his invis. Yeah, I have um, the invis ring from the Underdark equipped to cast on Orpheus once he's channeling. relatively safe, no all like bombardment. So they never put a circle here? Okay, that's good info. I was avoiding hasting because I don't know the positions for that. Just catting at me. Uh, what, do, what, what, do I, what do I do about this? Quick game, only pay attention to cat. That seems like the right play. He's like, why'd you stop? That one Kevin? Yeah, that's Kevin. So like, I'm not sure the Arcanist can even counterspell uh, my my Monk Darkness. It's something I want to try here. That was the one off key points, not the spear. Mind flare getting closer is acceptable, because it means I'll have a good um, target for throwing for lightning charges. I 
it's intense. Yeah, yeah. There's no margin for error here on this run. I have a turn with the spare action. Make an invis puddle there for me to use later. I think next turn is throw haste spore grenade. Mm. That's there. is there. Think this is out of counter spell range, but we're gonna find out. I guess I could have thrown get lightning charges. Okay, noted. Put Orpheus channel on the side of the Reno Circle. That. It's like riding this around and playing and getting a 1 in 400 chance on that one's advantage. Uh, you will do these to stress. Well, there's no strats where that is a run killer by itself. That, that's how we do it. Getting complete consistency. And always having backup plans. So even something that has a very small failure chance like throwing Orin. Um, I have a backup strat in mind.
Okay, so I need to get lighting charges. I destroy my invis puddle. I uh, didn't have enough, but I didn't need it to, to last any longer. Need to get lighting charges, then I need to make a fire surface. And then I need to start throwing. Also, I need to know. Uh, I've never had to learn the logic on which platforms get chosen. I need platforms next to it to remain. Save? I, I saved a couple minutes ago. But thank you. You wanna, you wanna hasten me? Thank you. This is it. Its will is weakening. over here. Sometimes the only way out is through. This is for next round. And so I want to manipulate and get it consistent. Okay. Threw a powder bomb would kill it. If I threw it into the fire surface, maybe. I kind of consider that barrel mancy though. to lightning, fire, and force. I didn't think of bringing any throwables outside of that. Uh, poison a slime bomb is like an amount of damage, I guess. It's saving throw based though, isn't it? So tight that my offhand attack didn't destroy it. He scored on Gale. It was the second time I had that happen. Ugh.
Maybe I'll want one more haste floor grenade for this. Uh, in the future. Probably, um, one hand crossbow so I can destroy something from range as well. Bonus action to keep the light going. I need it. Oh, hang on, I forgot to, uh, Forgot to pop Terrazil. So I probably die. Um, depending on where it puts the mitigation. So like let's see. Okay, yeah. Well uh, I reload. I wanna do this better anyway. Um so yeah, uh having one more haste spore grenade for this works a lot better. Back to this point. Oh, I break my concentration. Orpheus. Animals. Yeah, I don't put a haste spore grenade out here. I'll put it in there instead. That'll effectively recover that one. Better play. This pot is there. Yeah, I should really prep for this in a way where I'm using Orin's clothes. It is just more damage. I have to carry a lot less stuff. Oh, I don't really need most of the stuff. Um, next attack is Darkness on Orpheus. I do need to use the haste spore grenade here. Yeah, yeah, I do. Unless I terrazole. Oh, I could terrazole now, actually. Yeah, doing terrazole now is fine. Fight even work. Um, the brain does a bomb attack if you do enough damage, basically one shots you. No, the brain reacts to the first person that attacks it every turn, and everyone has to make um, a saving throw, or else get mind broken and take a bunch of psychic damage. But only one person can actually get mind broken by this. The rest is just saved for psychic damage. And that's from directly attacking the brain. I'm not directly attacking the brain. So, it doesn't happen. So, my end turn button does not exist for the rest of the game. It is Terrazil. I use Terrazil to end my turn. That's the mistake I made. Hey, Griff. How's the testing going? It's going well. This is a cannot even balance fun. The will is weakening. The brain. This is it. Its will is weakening.
it rolls that time. Realize after my run you can take Terrazil every turn to avoid the uh, lethargy round. Yeah, that's what I'll be doing. That's what I'll be doing. Excellent GG's, thank you. Let's run it back. I want to get that again, but like, without second guessing myself on every input. <laughs> it's gotta feel natural. Um, One turn of lighting charges does feel bad, but given current situation, I think it does make the most sense still. So I can Terrazil here. And my concentration Obvious channels. Does need to rely on rules for damage? Not really, because multi bombs do so much damage that I'll have three rounds to throw at it, effectively. There is no way the brain survives all three of those. Because I'm making each of those bombs explode nine times. I have Rhapsody increasing the damage of those bombs. Now, what I want to do is go back and do this brain fight with, uh, with Orin's clothes equipped, so I have, instead of plus three to everything, all my damage, I have plus four to all my damage, so that'll make it even more consistent. Um, and that is including the additional damage from, uh, the additional damage from Callus Glow and Lightning Charges aren't getting the, the bonus from Rhapsody and, uh, Mutilated Carapace, uh, but they don't really need to. That's still a bunch of damage considering how many instances we're doing. Monk the Brain, thank you, Crypto. Thank you for the 100 bits. Um, and then on the off turns where it's immune to force, uh, lightning, uh, fire, radiant, um, I don't think it'll actually get radiant immunity with how this is working. Um, on those turns I throw spike bulbs for four piercing damage each and then two, five slashing damage on the following turn. So basically, there's no way the brain survives. Mathematically, it's it's not gonna, considering how many bombs I'll be throwing. That's without me throwing the brilliant retort. I wonder if this is worth the cost. No hesitation. Kara, thank you so much for the 5,000 bits. Holy shit, that's so much. Let's see if text-to-speech bothers to, to read out the, the message that it should. So insane to see... Okay, there it goes, there it goes. So insane to see such an insane amount of game knowledge. Happy to be here to learn and hang out with cool nerds Quag Jiglin. Also, I want that Bits badge hee hee. <laughs> Bits badge is all yours. Uh, enjoy the, uh, the badge. I don't remember if I still have emotes attached to my bits. Uh, yeah, I do. N enjoy those. And thank you so much for your continued support. Happy to have you around. Seriously. Alright, we invis here. That leaves me a bonus action. Which I just used to hide. Let's go. Oh, you're pushing for one round? No, no, I'm just pushing to kill it. Now, we can get it in the one round, but just trying to kill it. I'm also using the third most efficient way of getting lightning charges on this, so it's, it's very scuffed. Maybe even fourth. The bow might be better, too. Because then I could shoot a darkness arrow, get the lighting charges, not break my invis or my hiding. I did get the bow though. There was no reason for me to get either of the other items. I will have it available. Though, maybe there is reason for me to get spell spark with if I'm taking dual wielder. Hmm. Hadn't thought about that. Love it. I'm very glad. This 
This is it. It's Will. It's weakening. Why is Will weakening? Is he okay? That feels pretty good. I just need to make sure I get into the portal. Well, with all my actions, with flight on. How's the practice going? It's going well, Rox. Um, I only fucked up the actual brain part of it once so far. We're gonna run it back one more time. Back one more time. Certain amount of bombs you can stack and throw. Uh, throwing bomb stacks uh, is very likely to blow up in your face. It's something they've attempted to fix. They didn't fully fix it, but they did partially fix it. Also, um, spirit of the rules. I don't want to do anything construable as barrel mancy. This is me throwing one individual bomb each time. So I, I feel okay about it, you know? should have thrown first to maintain my advantage. Maybe I should... no. this is good. There's a world in which I missed that throw. Having a lightning jabber here would be important because lightning jabber should still generate that even on a miss. As far as I know that's the only throwable that works that way. So I'll route in having a lightning jabber for this specifically. Try to throw a bomb stack with the brain, close up my hand, Just three guys down. Yeah, you can't really. Every once in a while it'll work, but. Just annoying to miss the Gortash takedown. How where did I do it? So, uh, at the Morphic Pool, you know where the intellect of our ambush is? Um. I aggroed Gortash after killing that ambush. I aggroed Gortash, had him follow me, um, and then I I pushed him into a chasm. The green pits that the intellect gluttons jump out of, I pushed Gortash in one of those. I was in combat with him, he had his legendary action, we defeated Gortash. Act 1 is hands down the hardest part of the challenge. Yeah, I agree. The brain is weakened. I can show Gortash again if you want to see it. Gith, yeah, they scare me a lot. He's in a pool party. Not, not, not even the Gith. Um, because like Gith Yankee can't do anything about darkness. It's like, in my opinion, the Act One stuff that's hard is um, near Flint, the first Grove fight, 
um, safely knocking out Minthara. It's those things. The Githyank are easy. And Flint can be trivialized. Um, Nier, I just need a better understanding of how his, his shit all works. And then that will be fine for me. It's will, it's weakening. Get through stupid when it comes to darkness. Also, gravity. Did you know if uh, if you have sanctuary on you and you're fighting the the Githyanki in Act Two, you go to that the roof of the House of Healing. They'll jump up after you. You go down. They'll jump down after you. They don't check to see if they have featherfall. They will just jump. Not Blacketh's finest. Blacketh isn't sending her brightest. Every time it's succeeded, we've done it in the one round. So, like, that's good. Three bomb tosses. And again, I could have more damage if I had, um... Mutilated Carapace on. It's more damage. At last. It is subdued. Hey, Seo. Hope you're well. Design once again ended by my line. The brain is on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of Orpheus's strength to keep it there. An opportunity, perhaps. I haven't done the good ending on stream in a, in a bit, so do that. Okay, I feel good enough about the brain. Um. Part of me does want to run it back with Mutilated Carapace on. I wasn't able to one round it, but it's fine. I'm an extra attack class. So. That extra throw, you know? Hopes, nightmares, and the screams of legions upon legions of unborn elipids. Obliterating all thought, all feeling. Your tadpole burns in your brain. Is that bomb damage coming together? Smoke powder bombs and many other things of its like. Um, they trigger their explosion by death events on top of their normal Silence. conditions. So when you throw a smoke powder bomb, it explodes once. When you throw a smoke powder bomb from high ground, so it takes falling damage, it explodes twice. When you throw a smoke powder bomb from high ground uh, onto a fire surface, it explodes three times. When you add lightning charges, that's four. When you add callous glow, that's five. But then also you have interactions between those things, uh, causing you to get even more than that. Um, I believe the number you get with all of those things I said together is nine. You can get a tenth by adding in Cloud of Daggers if your class has that available. Um, and there's likely even more ways to do that. Um, but we're causing each bomb to explode a massive number of times, and because I also have Lightning Charges and Callous Glow, those are applying to the damage of each of those explosions as well. Um, I have Rhapsody equipped and stacked up to three, so... I have an extra plus three damage on every force damage roll involved in that. Oh, 
powder bombs equals goat powder bombs. Even without the multi-bomb tech, smoke powder bombs are one of the most consistent sources of damage in the game. Because force damage is almost never resisted. They have a very generous AoE, they're relatively cheap, you can get them in lots of places in a large quantity. Um, you could deploy them with attack action, you could deploy them by putting them on the ground and destroying them. Um, they're very powerful, very flexible. The only time they're not consistent is against things that uh, have evasion. That means if they succeed the save, which is not a very high DC, they take no damage instead of half. Wait for this run to go live. Yeah, they're up. I'm very excited for it. Happy the bombs worked. Brayden got me worried for a long time. I think um, you had other options for the brain. Um, you can totally just get your intelligence saving throws up to the point where you um, you can't fail it. Like hell dusk boots. You reroll the the failure into a success once per long rest. Um, but you could go in with purple dollar Amaris ballist armor, enlarge uh, aberration slaying from a vicious short bow with draconic elemental weapon and oil of sharpness applied. A sneak attack on that crit. Everything you did, everything you do something like. It was worth it. For this. Something like three hundred damage, minimum. But then you would only need to succeed. Or, infernal resistance, the saving throw. And then. Shoot again. Now the only way that would fail is if you missed the second shot, or you missed one of the shots. You could have Executioner to reroll a miss into a crit. Enlarge would win a scroll use. You can elixir for enlarge. Maybe whatever changed in me was permanent. Colossus Elixir. Or you can use Big Boy's Chew Toy, though then you wouldn't be able to have triple dollar Mars Quest. Bomb seem good. Yeah, I, I think bombs are a better solution, because they give you more gear flexibility for the previous fight. Um, less class restricted. Less seeding of buffs ahead of time. I do think bombs are a better strap. This is the root planning save. This is the root planning save. Uh, we did uh, three brain kills. I was wrong. It seems I can only fulfill one part of my destiny. I want to go back and do another from the the the, the beginning of the uh, the brain fight. So bear with me, everyone. I I need to do this with a different clothing item on because it'll give me more damage consistency. This is before I stacked up the, the momentum. Well, do I have a save after I have the momentum? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Bear with him. Gotta watch him play BG3 some more. Yeah, I'm sorry to inflict that on you. Any RNG sketchy moments in the route so far? Pretty satisfied with consistency. Um, the backup strat that I have if I fail the Orin throw is still kind of completely theoretical. But given my knowledge of mechanics, it I'm still pretty confident in that. Um, other than that, the RNG sketchiest part of the, the run is turn one of the first fight after the Nautiloid. After that, it's pretty much fine. I do want to practice Nier a little bit more too, because um, Nier went weird. N Nier was just a strange encounter. 
and I think I can do that better. after nautiloid at least pretty fast retry yeah yeah we're, we're talking like if i speed through the nautiloid uh, we're talking five minutes per retry So if I do this, it's encumbered, not heavily encumbered. But this way. Cloud Giant's the play. Gear correct. I don't have smugglers right now. No, I need callus glow. Knew the gear wasn't correct. Um, this helm also isn't correct, really. Full perception. question why is there three even stats so one of the um the buffs 
that you get in the end game here, depending on who you saved, is uh what was it? Spirit of the Land is plus one to all ability scores, that's why they're on off numbers. I didn't build my stats around that. The other buff from it is um, additional movement speed. So. Vigilance, though, really? Just do a hell rider longbow. Plus 15. I don't need vigilance. Barely still encumbered. Obvious is not invisible anymore. Fix that. Save again. Overlay says I have resistance to fire, lightning, poison, and cold. Where are those resistances coming from? Uh, I have resistance to fire, vulnerability to lightning and cold, and immunity to poison. Immunity to poison is from being a level 10 monk, and then the rest are from reverse rain cloak. Six meters of movement. I still have step of the wind, jump, feather fall, and flight. I have even more jump distance than I did last time by having a cloud nine elixir. That's pretty cool. How's it going? It's going well. Uh, routing out the brain for no hit with some restrictions. Uh, got it dead a couple times. I'm just uh, improving strats. How's the variety gaming been treating you? RDR2 is a long game. Oh, yeah. I'm, st I'm stuck in this mind player. That's really funny, actually.
You know, devs released new stuff passes out of the loop. Uh, they said that early access for patch eight uh, is January, but they didn't give a more specific time frame than January, and that's not like full release either. So that's uh, all we know right now. We get another community update soon with more info. Here's hoping. Eagerly awaiting all the stuff. Finally finished my mod, took a while. Let's go. How long was patch 7 early access for again? I don't remember, actually. So turn 1 successful. As you make a mod, yeah, Naz has been working on a, a game wide overhaul mod for quite some time. A lot of personal tweaks in a lot of areas, very ambitious, very cool plans. So we got lighting charges, we got purpose, uh, let's see if I can hit you this, no, it's fine, I don't need to. about how overrated meta builds are over just having overall game knowledge not only that but gamers have this tendency to misuse the term meta they will wait popularity to effectiveness they'll call a build they see that's popular a meta build and like no that if we're using the the definition of that that's like intended actual strongest and that isn't quantifiable without applying a situation to it and then i guarantee you do apply those situations it's not anything that um the majority of uh people who frequent build subreddits or youtube comment sections are even aware of your point on game knowledge uh, yeah that's absolutely right the more you learn the less you know well said the fire surface next turn. So the Emperor got patch 7. The Emperor tried to heal his ally with a potion, and it didn't work, because patch 7 sucks. <laughs> Hit him with a potion, nothing happened. <laughs>
I guess it's fair when it happens to NPCs too. That's how that works, right? Patch 8 will fix patch 7? Surely, surely. I heard. I heard that patch 8 is actually just going to be Baldur's Gate 4. Don't tell anyone, though. Once we kill the questioners before getting them in dark at their cutscene, then two of the guards from upstairs will will replace them. Adepts Nola and Mola. They are normally they exist in the game, they're in the throne room. They'll be torturing Mandara instead. Going with the dragon in one darkness cast would be very cool. Or bring this follow around because past seven probably. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're supposed to be doing that, but again, patch seven. for four damage is helpful. Thank you, Brain. Okay, that's the dragon. Yeah, formless slaughter makes this way faster. I really don't like you being there. That's maybe in counter spell range. We'll find out. Is for future use.
Okay, let's do his even monster. Shield's broken. Yeah, there's some very bold changes in Naz's mod that I think would make the game a very interesting playthrough. And I think a lot of us who have a, a lot of hours in the game, um, many of whom are here in the chat, would agree. Let's go for it. I don't know the correct ring on. Um Is that fine? Might be fun. Guess I could test the darkness thing. See if just invis is enough. Yeah, let's try that. Got to switch off the crushers here. Am I hiding? I am hiding. Anything else to do? Let's see how this works. We all play this game a perfectly normal amount. Surely, surely. No unreasonable playtime. Okay, see, that's what I thought would happen. Yeah, no, they absolutely do attack all our pieces in darkness. So this is why we science. He has to be invisible. I need to Terrazul. Need to make sure this ring's equipped ahead of time, though. Fucking hell. I forgot to throw out somebody got lighting charges. I'll have to do that in the next round. Who's sciencing the Dragonborn? I'm disguised for the benefit of um Orin's clothes. Yeah, I forgot to get lighting charges. Um means I have to get them on the following round. Should still work out fine. Just means maybe I get the two or the three round brain instead of the one. We'll see how much of a difference uh, mutilated carapace makes. If your AC is 18, shield should kick in 18 plus 5. Uh, but if your ally tries to hit you, it kicks on an 18 minus 5. That's so weird. 
That's like potentially really useful, actually, even though that's so fucked up. that out now, though. Having, uh... Fewer attacks than I should. This is it. Its will is weakening. It's running so fast. Killed it. A lot of science. Well... Fire hitting for seven damage is funny. And turn button does not exist, Terrazul exists. Uh, use bonus action to sustain flight. Which is all I need. Doesn't get radiant immunity because of the mechanics of Callus Glow. Maybe I should no. This is good. We throw five damage spike bulbs. Do nothing. Now's the only way out is through. And away I go. Turn button does not exist, only terrors will. Broken super scary? Yeah, that's why we're approaching this fight in a way where uh, mind broken never happens.
Um, took significantly more throws due to me forgetting to get lightning charges. Um, so let's see if we can go back and do that round better. Um, but I could have still killed it on the following round with uh, spike bulb throws, I believe. Be something else besides spike bulbs. It would have to be something that has the same multi bomb interaction. Um, that does not do force, fire, or lightning damage. Now, with Rhapsody and Orin's clothes on, each spike bulb I throw is doing 5 damage. And then it's also applying a um, 5 damage bleed. That's piercing damage. Or, uh, that's slashing damage, rather. So, it's 5 piercing, then 5 slashing. Break Shara's Darkness. Terra's Lul. This is this. Our target's still there. Again, uh, Lightning Jabber is going to be guaranteed Lightning Charge build up there. Let's swap this. This. Attack. Oh, Automat overachieving. Bring another on. Uh huh. Attacked enemy presence only has a range of three meters, if I remember correctly, so... Yeah. yeah I just gotta make sure I have lightning charges on as well. I have them for this first turn, and I don't need to expend any additional throws. This is it. Keep the enemy away until the brain is completely subdued. Oh, the man managed to cone of cold himself. Legend. This is our Absolute legend.
should get started. This feels very consistent for the one round. Especially with the added buffer of um, Formless Slaughter. Yeah, as long as I have Lightning Charges... One round feels good there. Hey, Baba Laga. Tell me if I got that horribly wrong. Thank you so much for the Prime. And the GGs. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, emotes and everything. Thank you for being part of this. Uh, what are you doing? And thus, I, I don't think he knows. My mother's legacy. The grand design once again ended by my line. The brain is on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of Orpheus's strength to keep it there. An opportunity, perhaps. Look at this cat. Why are you like this? I must end. She's just a girl and she's on fire. The eagle quack. Hopes, nightmares, and the screams of legions upon legions of unborn leopards. Oh, I should eat him? I should I think I have to eat you now. I believe there's a Kevin near you. Obliterating all thought, all feeling. Your tadpole burns in your brain. Sorry, chat said. Okay, so, um, fights that I still don't feel great about. As mentioned, uh, Nier, uh, Grove 1. That's it, really. Yeah, that's it. So. That's only been five hours. I could start the real run. Could start the real run. What do you think? You can jump once you figure out. Should be fine there. The thing with Grove One is I can't control the initiative. Most of them. Practice the two areas concerned a couple times and go. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. HP no hit it's 
five run. Fix on a Discord, build and jump on the top should be fairly easy. Yeah, I don't I don't need that. The thing is I have a, a spot I can already do that from with 16 strength. It's just getting in um without starting combat. If I go for the spot you have there, there is a world in which a bugbear throws something at me. Um But I may change my tune on that. We'll see. Wait, did you jump to the combat? Yeah. Um I want the combat. I want the XP. I'm being stubborn. I have a plan, but we'll see. We'll see. Finished routing already? Yeah, Tizzle. We're uh, about to start up the real one. Alright, new game. Normally I play on custom honor, but like, I'm gonna reset a bunch. With an honor. Because I figure, I don't feel like ending stream at only five hours in. So you got a couple more hours of me. Unless my game crashes while trying to start a new game. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the game is crashing. But the bugs? Yeah, the bugs. Oh, my, my game crashed. Can, 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 give me a minute. I'll patch seven things, am I right? <laughs> Inauspicious start. I find that trying to start a new game, um, more than like an hour after opening the game, it just kind of crashes on this patch. Game, would you like to launch? That's in trouble. crashes after the duo. Yeah, current patch for this game is, um, a bit shit. Hey, uh, OBS, you wanna, like, capture my game? It when it crashes so hard, OBS is like, this doesn't exist. It's not a real game. was on the side of Spider-Man 2 winning game of the year last year. Hey, Teal Trooper. Uh, the official run? Yeah. I'm feeling mostly confident with routing, and if I lose a run, it'll either be to something I already practiced, or to... near. Order of one. Alright, background... And class monk sub race or uh, race is half elf sub race wood half elf ability scores 17 strength 16 dex right yeah 8 con 8 int and wisdom 14 charisma Proficiencies are athletics. Um, I get stealth from my race, which is good. Going athletics, religion. Religion will help with Mirror of Lost later. 
on, we get sleight of hand uh, and deception from background. Very Marcus coded. What what if we Okay, hang on, what if what if we, we cook here? What what if I went John Hot? John Hard. No, oh, that's an L. Not not normal enough. Suspiciously similar to my last character. Sure. Why not? Like count attempts, pretty sure you need less attempts, so I see it's challenged my third completed solo on runner for all. Yeah, I'll be counting attempts, Kaylee. I'll be keeping track. Many areas I'm worried about? Eh, like three or four of them. Right. No hit. One. RPF Queen, thank you for the $69. Very nice of you. Very nice. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Alright, first things first. Check this chest. Pick up this chest. Wish I had a bag of holding. <laughs> Where the hells are we? You can sometimes get real juicy things in these chests. I got gems, but like you can get smoke powder bombs, you can get uh, jump potions, all sorts of crazy shit. Hey, Danny, definitely. Thanks so much for the five gifted. Incredibly generous. Really appreciate the support. Thank you so much. I'm not even gonna try for us. Not allowed to make use of us anyway. Forty-two meters of movement right now. No speed pot there. It's unfortunate. She's just a girl and she's on fire. The eagle quack. Spirit spot. It's pretty well lit, but ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. Just out of view. One day I'll catch a break. Because <laughs> my mother's name is Danny. Definitely call me Danny. Sure thing, Danny. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Lazel is not allowed to help me, but what she can do. Make way. Run this way. Make life a little harder for them. Auto mod. 
off bat fingered and it needs to be bonked. Combat. Hi, Liza. See you on the beach. This is a uh, greed, especially because I dipped the wrong weapon. Felt successful. Proficiency moment. At the ready. Oh, the actual? Yes. This is a live run right now. favor me. Thank you. Curp ring on my fingers. It's okay. Cool. That's the first group down. Not getting a speed pot from that mind flare corpse somewhat limits my options for um the next room. But we'll see. I still haven't bothered to consistently learn the new way to ensure uh, mind flare XP, so. Why I'm not doing it, but also have an alternate early game route that I'm gonna be. I've tested once, and we'll be live testing it now. Yeah. 
We are not going for this intellect of our. Too risky. I could flurry of blows, but I don't consider it worth the risk. How many are there? player out of there? What do you mean? that lays out put into the turn order now despite being literally dead. We need to get out of here now. Yeah, no speed bot, real unfortunate. Dash cap is 42 meters. Wanted to confirm that. Probable reset incoming. But Nautiloid is one of the reset points. So everybody get used to that. should be safe. I've had this imp shoot at me. Unless you mean, like, there. This is the desk? I I've gotten shot at by the imp there. That is one thing attacking me versus two. Just don't get hit. Without triggering the cutscene? Oh. Here? Okay. I see what you mean. Right, I haven't tried that. Exactly enough movement. So if you get a speed pot um from that first mind flare corpse, then you can just on turn one run all the way to the transponder. Consider that worth the investment. The tadpole scored a little bit. Tad Must be on my way. What's hiding here? Tikura. Tik, come. Our search begins. We've, we've, there. 
kind of forgot to attempt to save Shadow Heart, but it's fine. What's up for discussion? Every container, as in pouches, backpacks, things of that weight class, uh, and every regular barrel. Not explosive barrels, regular barrels. I need all of those. Kaylee's saying about after um, Nautiloid and First Grove fight, that's when you start to get control. Um, before that, there's a lot of randomness. Don't expect a run to actually be off the ground until we are safely through the combat where Will is introduced. Very focused this stream? Yeah. It's a... Uh... It's a challenge I want to really give my all to. Ah. You, these things are going to consume us from the inside and turn us into. But I've barely made a dent in it so far. Hopefully, there's no more. But you can call me Shadowheart. We're half elves walking around together. Everyone's gonna think we're cousins. Don't mistake blood for kinship. I'm no hit one. Let's make haste. See what happens. Something the matter. So that's to say you'd like to pry a little. Oh, don't worry. I'm learning about you with each if you're sure. Oh, yeah. Uh I didn't get her from the pod, so that doesn't get approval. Probably no short romance on this run. We'll see. Was pretty good at dying in his own. That's true. More of those wretched things. That moves them back. to recruit a star in at level 2. There, in the sh now. And now you're going to tell me exactly what you... Uh, what was that? What's going on? I hang to think. Uh, my name... So... Although, at all... Breathe, quiet, move, 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 move
Now, normally I delay this for later, but having a speed pot here does give me some consistency I would like. Nice view. Okay. Didn't expect to get it. That is an argument for taking nature proficiency, but I don't have an easy route to that with my current build plan. Longest time I thought that said uh, sacred boar. <laughs> hmm. I want to have a word. Yes. <laughs> so it's very important boar. How's your run going, Teal Trooper? I haven't been able to catch your last couple of streams. Of course I, I try to lurk, but limited hours in the day. I stream too much. We have not lucked into any speed pots thus far. It's unfortunate, but in the grand scheme of things, not very unlikely. No Demaze and Nymesta, because I'm sure Lazel was dead. One less potential inspiration, but Demaze and Nymesta are run killers on non like regular solo honor. So I'm, I'm not taking that chance. Level do I enter the Merkle Arena on this run? Uh, 10. But I only need to be level 8. Okay, they just don't exist in this timeline. Get the shovel, and then we have um, a couple dig spots to check. Always room for more. Getting the fast travel here and then backtracking. I have three key points. Two of them are going to be spent this upcoming combat on Step of the Wind and Patient Defense. Patient Defense will give attackers disadvantage in their attack rolls against me. Which is not super consistent, but it's more than nothing. If I'm going to take an attack roll, I may as well reduce their chances to the best of my ability. I'm an EP. Have a lovely stream. Best wishes to run. Thanks, Sam. You have a good one. Lurk through the Nautiloid. Hey, Crypto. Uh, it was a never punished kind of Nautiloid. My positioning wasn't great, but never punished. The first fight went well. The second fight, not really, but... Can I get that one too? Let's see if I can get that one too. Rolls, yay. Getting Mage Armor and Featherfall there in a normal run is actually really good. Not this one.
<gasps> Cat. This is literally the best possible item we can find at this point in the game. What the fuck? It th I've never gotten that this early before. I knew it was possible because I've seen it, but it never happened to me. Now, as long as I don't make some sort of colossal mistake... Easy clap now. I'm just not in combat. As long as no one throws at me, we're good. As long as the bugbear doesn't choose to throw at me. We're good. I needed to make sure I got in combat. So I need this XP. Temp HP! We're counting it. Zevlor, baby! <laughs> Do not care. Fuck this fight. Cat keeps trying to assassinate me. Cats. What happened to the old run? That was routing. The yeah, I am group. This is the real run. Now, I'm never planning on temp HP. But for this fight... I'll take the rallied guardian angel. Yeah. It's allowed under the rules, it's just I don't personally like relying on temp HP. That were punished junior, is that you? Watch, I'm gonna have some stupid death get it's gonna be like surfaces or something. Ramira taking that Ray of Sickness isn't fantastic. start where you uh, roll a glorious vaulting potion for opening grove fight. Yeah. Crazy stuff. Now I only have one left. No, I didn't use stuff in the wind, did I? Yeah. Okay. I meant to use stuff in the wind. I didn't. Will actually landing Eldritch Blast is a kind of curse.
Karth dying gets me earliest access to hand crossbow. But doesn't look like he's gonna. Unless the bugbear hits him real hard. Holy shit, Will. He just... He gets it today. I would really... I don't actually know how I feel about Ramira dying. Killing her myself for XP later is appealing. I don't love that they're completely ignoring the bugbear. Like, if the bugbear somehow sees me, he'll just throw something up here and kill me. Sorry, I was in the kitchen. What was the best weapon of the game? Heroes. I don't know what you're asking, Nathaniel. Um, if we're talking about the item I, I found, the best thing I could have found at this point, it was a, a jump potion. I was able to use that to jump up from that side without the, um, without the need of a crate tower, and I didn't have to go up here specifically. Jump potion was crazy. Now the problem is I jumped into a spot where I wasn't in combat at, at the start of the, um, fight, so I needed to get in in a way that was clumsy. But my temp HP saved me from uh, the bugbear exactly enough. Why is everyone critting? Will crit, Ramira crit, that goblin crit. run so far yeah it's uh it's been very a little too kind all right everyone survived Which means i have a chance to roll for xp here we'll heard that him dying is xp positive now he's gamering every run yeah So there's an exploration XP spot in the gate here that um, Will 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 get even if you're not in the party. So I should have tripped it before he had the chance there. Just grab the 10 XP. But if you can ensure that Will doesn't walk through that spot, you can save it for later. All right, you might notice that I didn't pick up Caustic Brine in an abundance. I'm not going to be using Caustic Brine for the Raphael manipulation this run. I'm going to be using, um, also I, I don't need these barrels now. Barrels can go to camp. I'm going to be using um, water and a lightning arrow. Two tricky fights down? Yeah. Alright, that's me to save. We're in a pretty good position for a while now. Finally done with Act 1 with the Cleric. Congrats, Mr. Squire. Hey, quick enigma. Random question is wondering with, uh, when you get Silver Sword or the Astral Plane Silver from Boss. Want to test out for myself? Uh, I've done it on a few runs. Uh, I did it most recently on um, Decay Zell. Most recent Lazel I did.
advantage I can get. It's consistent. Depending on the method, it can be consistent. The method I used on the Lazel run was to kill Voss there. Um, now, that itself does not seem to be consistent because sometimes Voss is in invulnerable there, even when you get him to stay around and fight. Um, but the most consistent way to be would be to use a Beastmaster, Ranger, um, get to level 6, be a Beastmaster Ranger, give your bear a Colossus Elixir, you cast Bless on it, from the Staff of Arcane Blessing, you have it drink an Invis Pot, you have it sneak over and disarm boss. You're looking at around a 95% success rate. You can do it at level 5, that'll be 91 instead of 95. The game is telling me I'm not in this water. It's very important that it's telling me the truth. It's distracted and just finished the no-hit. That was routing. That was uh, the practice run. This is the real one. Tiefling's jaw clench is about to erupt. Okay. Oh. Speed. Very well. Thank you for your help. This attack will only strengthen Liv. We can't stay, but we'll. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare. They've withdrawn there to prepare this. You. Yeah, now any death means back to the Nautilus, Crypto says. Yell louder. That's fine too. Oh yeah. Monk gets this for free. Always forget that. More XP. I swear that ox's gaze is following me. He stares right past you as if you're invisible. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. Yeah, that's more what I expect. You look I can bring Lazel for approval for this, but I don't need to do that. Step. You need to be ready for a fight. You. But I'll keep at. Oh yes. An XP and a battle axe. Are made of XP.
anyways, I'll have to talk to Zoru. Uh, who do we think I romance this run, chat? Be wary of false promises. The missing druid, Halsin, was it? Is that again? Harlack, maybe? Me? I mean, sure. Vote? Yeah, let's start a poll. That's a good idea. Um. Anthara, Lazel, Tharian, Shadow Heart. Arlac, and there's no more options, so I guess you're choosing between those five. I gotta run to the bathroom. I'll be RB. Of course you guys are trying to pick Halson. Why are you like this? What are you doing? What are you cooking? If the library was a gift from Yet we still collect more. It is imperative we locate a cra yet yeah. then you have ceased to exist. The first symptoms fine. It Yes. Put a star into the party to farm approval. Is this monster with you? Lower. The Shoes. The locals prove the tea sling was. Some of my chat managed to figure out this way to get mad as XP for turning the ring. I don't know if that's common knowledge, so not to do it before. Ooh, tell me more. That's not something I had ever bothered to do. It's... Are you sure? Confirm. Best to fill your bed. Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I, you take a sup at that. You, I'm sorry to go on about. Uh, not that. Hey, bother. Mats for jump potion, yes, please. Mats for featherfall potion, yes, please. Invis potion. Strength. I'm gonna want Coraline's Grace, just not yet. We work on attitude with Damon. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Eltera. So I'm level 2, so it's 500 gold worth of stuff. Go 
bit foggy, but if you take the ring, tell him he's getting paid an experience, sell a thing to him, buy another thing, and walk away. You come back, you apologize. It should be it, I think. Okay. Good to know. Um, I shouldn't need a revivify scroll for anything else, no. What should I give him? Where's 51, I think? His shield. Minthara. Okay, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Other calls to sell to people who I need uh, not doing their normal actions. goes to camp. Same with the mace. Six. Seven. Actually, sell stuff. anything from him right now? No. Back up. Doables. And plus one throwables. He has... She doesn't have much. Pike, not a javelin. Not a great selection, Den. Not your best work. I'm Orin Kidnap. Our romance was actually Mithara. Mm. It's good to know. That's, uh, that's good to know. Yeah, maybe I'll opt to have, um... Alcyn dead temporarily. Take your time. Watching his hands, you realize he's mining opening something. Rolling good. He nods, then we... <laughs> I'll wait a bit to try to get music proficiency from Alphira, I think. through the nine hells than now our rebellion's being judged Pardon? um i didn't damn it didn't have a lightning arrow by any chance did he you get back um what you i don't think he did Do 
don't need a whispering promise yet. No. Getting Golo's attitude up is going to be kind of a waste. I plan on stealing from him. A lot. Bad chest. I've gotten Vigilance, Bloodlust, Arrow, many targets. I've, I've gotten good stuff from there. Um, getting just gold and some very basic mats is uh, unfortunate. How's this challenge be possible? I cannot imagine. Well, uh, the routing run that, uh, that I've been doing over the past few streams, I concluded that today. Um, we have strategies for everything. It's just a matter of putting it all together. Uh, the rule set has already been completed by the person right above you in the chat, uh, Kaylee, the creator of the rule set. Uh, and she's working on a second run with a different class. an option with advantage. Go on. Say it. I took back the idol of Sylvanas. The, I the Viper. This tale... back for the chest. Alright, here's the new Netty I XP. Well, it's not new, but... Just give me a moment. Um, here's the XP that I'm routing into my own snow. What was it you need? You found her. But I... Why are you asking? A tadpole. Come. We need to be quick. This way. Uh, my testing just didn't do damage. All right. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? No, nothing strange. Just nothing? wanted out. Nothing. Give me your arms. Be careful. She poisoned me. You're late with. I'm truly, truly sorry. The door. Make an antidote. Seventy-five XP. No... But first, I. Well, because you should all. Not yet. Whatever he if you can now we one 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 cool same result except with 75 XP if everyone else minds their business I'll be fine on my way feel that dagger for throwing and that 75 XP is how I justify killing so little on the nautiloid because I didn't take that 75 before, and I do now, so it more than offsets the loss I take by doing the less optimal Nautilid. We're almost level 3 already. What's that? Um, even with the amount of content I've, uh, skipped.
Okay, now Raphael's in the queue to show up. Um, I need a lightning arrow. Could potentially spam a few long rests for it, but if rolls go poorly, Lazel can kill me, or I have to choose between Lazel and Shadowheart, which would mean no Lazel storyline. But we'll see. I need Aaron to have a lightning arrow. If not, I need Roa Moonglow to have a lightning arrow, but... Getting into the goblin camp is gonna require some stuff I don't yet have. Is there anything you need? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. He has one, beautiful. Got the Colossus elixir too. Darkness arrows, alright, Aaron's got the the sauce right now. gonna want ring of flinging do i grab it yet not yet i'll come back all right i've not done this particular version of this thing too many times so there's a chance i mess up and just fucking die We'll see. So, here's what happened. My, my. Raphael spawned in front of me. I bounced off his head, hit the electrified surface. We run it back. Body blocked, yep. Fucked by Raph. He got his revenge. I called him a one-pump chump on the practice run, and he, he remembered. Uh, let me... Yeah, okay, this is fine. Wood half-elf. Roten... Athletics, religion, eighteen, sixteen, and fourteen. Randomize until I think they have main character energy. Greater. Give me something. Thank you, Kara. And this is why I called it out before it happened. Correct. Sure. No hit. Two. You need a guardian. Choose one. Now that was also a new thing. I've I've never had Raphael body block me like that before. It was like you had an easy life in the grove. Do it again. It really was. We knew it was coming.
Gotta admit, after all that practice around a failure for stuff, like, that is really funny. Oh, it's so funny. I can't even be mad, because, like, that's exactly the kind of thing I knew would get me. I'm pretty sure I, I called on the first day of routing, I'm gonna die to a surface. I am thoroughly entertained. Dead. Good. Okay. Smoke powder bomb on the Nautiloid. Okay. I'll give it a shot. It's always the mayhem water. <laughs> didn't think that was possible. Yeah, you can get some uh, crazy early game stuff. Speed pot this time? Nope. Fine. Something good here, I hope. Mentioned. Yeah, I did mention it. This be ridiculous. Pre-dashing, also being a what elf, half elf. This run's really impressed by how much I learned about this game watching your stream. I appreciate the kind words. How much XP was it to re recruit a Sarian again, chat? 30? It's 30, right? Crush damage isn't ideal there, but... intellect of power now. <laughs> Make up the difference. Let's see on the beach lays off.
Actually, these are 10s. I'll be 10xp shy of where I was before. Uh, I don't know if I risk it on the Intellect of Hour. One of these attempts, I'll get a speed bot on that mind player. And I'll be able to be a little reckless. We'll actually rescue Shadowheart this time. Well, attempt to, anyway. The thing about doing the Electrified Water, um, is the difference between that and Caustic Brine is this surface will apply the Electrocuted Condition to Raphael, which means when I trigger the Forced Long Rest where he shows up, um, he'll be there in the camp. And it'll tick on him. And that tick happening while I'm talking to Mizora, who automatically starts dialogue with what I have planned, um, will cause his AI to break. Now, I don't need to do it that way. I'll have silence by that point, as long as I'm level 3. Um, which I should be very comfortably. But, it's kind of a fun way of doing it. Seventeen HP. Attention for now. May the gods take you first. Risky, but not that risky. Monk damage. So yeah, as, uh, as stated before, runs get off the ground once we get through Grove 1. Uh, the Raphael thing was an unfortunate speed bump that I'd suspected was possible, but I had never actually seen it, and, uh, <laughs> and now, now we've seen it. The console hums to life, so then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. You for shit. Your mind... Ah. this way.
I do have a smoke powder bomb. Uh, I, I should save that. I, I should really save that. These boots have seen everything. Almost by me. Having a speed pot makes this feel so much less awful. Like, truly, the Nautilate is a reset point. Fellas, no manners. Yeah, it just bro just got in my way. Hmm, I don't think I make this. Cause like with the jump, I have enough. But um I don't have a great line. Alright, no hit number three incoming. Like my strap for this work like 90% of the time you don't get attacked at all. I got attacked in that spot immediately. Um unironically, I don't mind the idea of just resetting until I get a speed pot on that first corpse. But I guess these guys didn't get a turn. So this worked out. They didn't get a turn. Can I get a candle? A candle on this run either? Ooh, cursed. Roll high. Thank you. The hell was Amy. Alright, off the Nautilid. Didn't think I'd live that one, but uh, I did. Yeah, waiting the turn there causes that next wave to not get their first turn. Um. Makes sense. Would I trigger the cutscene on the second turn? Yeah. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense to me. Eating that, uh, attack roll from that imp made me nervous. But that's still, uh, safer than what I did on the previous one. We might have escaped. Wait, we need each other. Something the matter? Must we? Thank you. If you're sure. I grab the, the incense. Bells wall. Trying to kill that imp could potentially save me. Yeah, I did have an action. I could have, uh, and my bow is still coated. Let's have a look. Next time I'll take a shot at it.
search begins. We've no time to you with them. It is imperative we locate a yet or then you have ceased to the first symptoms sh fine. Shook. As Shook. Okay. Um loot the beach. Get a star in, a little cat. You Traps, please. He's always playing chess all along. <laughs> he says, Ch and then you mate. Yeah, so, pretty much. That's chess, right? Fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. What are the odds of, uh... Oh? Try to ride, Raphael. Uh, Harlep made it sound, uh... Like an experience. What can I say? Right, check out this nat 20, What's by the way. This? Did you see it? Take long, this is worth a shot. <laughs> it was a shocking experience. Yeah, Rafa Raphael gave me the shocker. Shocker! Get back here, shocker! get tired of that one. I just don't. It's too good. There, a mind player. It's Monster. Death is too yeah, we got extra XP this room. Lost the XP for one of the imps to crush damage, but I killed an intellect devourer and an extra imp off of that, so. XP positive. The thing about NPCs having limited heals out of combat doesn't apply to everyone. Like you the yeah, other. seemingly it's very selective. There. Just a dumb boar. You really. You, you what was hand to think? My name's. So. Although. It hasn't happened yet. At all. Nice, nice crit. Okay. Seventy-five percent, by the way. Just didn't send. I was like, that doesn't map. No, I just didn't send. Excuse me. Stop out and build somehow not go crusher after twenty heals. It's lucky this time, maybe. 
like a 45% chance or something. Nice view. Not lucky. Just me or Astarius cheekbones and overall jawline less defined, could have sworn they used to be much sharper. Uh, I, he's always looked like this. There's never been any variation or deviation from this exact look in anyone's game ever, to be honest. You sound crazy. Speedpot. XP pot. Here goes nothing. Getting the fast travel, then we're gonna go hit the dig spots again. There's two of them, one of them has scrolls, one of them has, uh, I think it's always potions? I think. But I could be mistaken on that. Wearing Lazel's armor despite not being proficient might actually be um, what I do to start the combat. We'll see. Because it's two more AC. Or. No, it's five more AC. Four more. Myself a console so it doesn't have dad bod galer muscular and dara mods and sad and those are third party so i'm not sure a console will ever get those moment of truth let's see it close that's pretty close. I'm not mad at that. <laughs> it, like, it tried. Alright, I wanna try, uh, I wanna try what Silva's way. one more.
Let's go. Down and suffer. Time to press ahead. Alright, now unless the Booyog decides, fuck me. Come on, Zeppler, Mr. President for me. Arth took a lot of damage. Edge time. Have a good night, Sora. Helping on Zeppler. <laughs> patient defense here. Next turn I hide. Following turns I blow the horn. <laughs> Arthur and Ramirez probably don't survive this this time. down to three. I could smoke powder bomb. Maybe ensure if I get Bartha XP. Might even kill that goblin brawler. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, it's unlucky that the um the Booyog didn't hit Zevlor with either of those. Uh, ideally, we want Zevlor to get hit so he can do Hellish Rebuke to kill the Booyog. And that frees up Will sooner. Since Barth is likely gonna die, I have this perfectly good smoke powder. Here's a fun option. Yeah, that was fun. Push Zevlor down there to fight melee range? Yes, but Zevlor surviving uh, Act 1 is very XP positive. Killing Zevlor in the finale of Act 2 uh, is optimal because he is worth over 300 XP there. I'll go hit the exploration XP spot so Will can't, I think. Maybe Wilder I've never killed him before. Zevlor's a nice guy, but yeah, he's uh, he's he's worth a lot of XP. <laughs> Should I be able to get it from like right here. Yeah. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Will died. That's fine. I'll act like Will lived. Yeah, he's like just died. Yeah, 
having a smoke powder bomb there is so insane because you can multi bomb into a caustic brine surface or a fire surface like pretty easily. Ramiro, what are you doing? Alright, we're kind of just trapped in this combat until Ramiro dies. Because Evelor can't do anything until these two get closer, and Ramiro is not doing anything at all. Except getting crit in the face. I actually really love his character, dude completely owns up to screwing up. Uh, try to do the right thing once he has a chance. Yeah, and this is after a long period of time of him doing his best to look after a bunch of refugees who've been through some horrible shit. Like, right after getting out of hell, this stuff at the Grove happens to them. Zevlor is a, a decent guy in a tough situation, and he, he fucks up because he's being dominated by an elder brain isn't really aware of what's happening. It's not even wholly on him. I bear Zevlor no ill will at all. But he is worth over 300 XP. Okay, so Will's dead, uh, meaning he'll act as the doorstop of Frontiers for a while. It's gonna be really funny if Raphael screws me the same way. stuff we get from those corpses that are counted as sealing we're sending to camp that way i didn't steal them my camp chest did but no crime response yes that's actually how it works back here. Actually. Is the surface from the water barrel in the camp bigger? This water barrel is always here. If I were in Zevler's position, I'd simply not be overcome by the Elder Brain's influence. Based. Me personally, I would. <laughs> I love people who actually think like that. Open up. I love that if you steal those things and revive will, will automatically start stealing thief. Like, sir, you were just a corpse or only alive because of me. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty funny. Um, I actually don't like the trajectory here. More experiments, isn't that great? I think that's great. I don't think that's great. I'm lying to you. Logic dictates we fail perception here now. You can still get the spiders to come out. You just can't get the uh, the other bit of XP attached. Oh, 
Let's grab the stuff here. Helps with my early game money as well. Zeppler here has nothing to say. Right, you when you take doesn't actually matter. Step, you need to be ready for a fight. You, but I'll keep at. Oh, yeah, a few classes get this without a check fighter, uh, barbarian, monk. Um, there's a few other things to get it for free, but not everything. It's funny that the more restrictive a challenge run gets, the more bottlenecked by Act 3 you are. Are you sure that could... it doesn't really increase the bottleneck later, I find. But Act 1 is just like getting past the early game becomes the uh, hurdle. Selection is pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Eltera. Five hundred gold worth of goods. Okay, man. attitude uh, so two of these you need to keep one for will battle axe goes to camp mace goes to camp he plays L's armor in case I need to AC my way through something Shouldn't happen, but you never know. You take a darkness arrow here to steal the breastplate next to Damon. Way to do that to level three, where the darkness arrow will cost less. So I'm losing less money on that whole exchange. Has much better throwables this time. Hey Gigi, how are you? 
My first uh, 1 HP run took 20 attempts, uh, one run I've lost in Act 3, all the others on the auto later in Act 1. Had almost the same rules out without no multi-class, uh, no scrolls, and Act Lock thing. And then with um, the other stuff, it was uh, attempts 10, if I'm remembering correctly. To fill your belly. What a day for some salt. Uh, yeah, Tom. Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I, you take a sip of that and you'll feel. You, I'm sorry to go on about it. I, not that. Hey, bother. He always has this in his pot. He always buy mats for open feather fall. Buy a strength pot. Almost finished on the sixth, messed up hard. Was that the uh the Minsk one? That one was tragic. Should get started. Almost, uh, almost clicked incorrectly there. Well, this time versus routing, um, there's a bunch of things I can do better. Um, I try to make sure Mole isn't um, away. I gotta make sure not to knock out Mattis. I don't want his AI to break. Because the game considered him dead, and I would like to have Corporate Token. I hated myself for not noticing Dual Toggle was on. It's one of those things that I feel like it should default to off rather than defaulting to on. I, It's intensely frustrating to me. Let's check to see if Aaron has lightning arrows. What is there anything you need? I, just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Take that. Materials for jump potions. We take those too. Same as Featherfall. That. Let's go save Arabella. Arabella dying is slightly XP and negative and means I don't have freedom of movement on the final boss, but other than that, no real consequences.
you get uh, what you I'll wait to do some of the other stuff until after the Raphael thing. Fewer bells and whistles. What hit one die? Uh, Raphael body blocked a jump and I fell into an electric surface. So, comedy. I will imprison the devil. And do it. House in his Go on. Say it. I took back the idol of Sylvanus. And the right the none of this can happen while outlanders in the teachings of the tree father. The, uh, the viper. This tale oh, yeah, I hadn't spoken to Zevlor, so that dialogue was different. I haven't heard it play out that way in, in a while. to be quick this way there's something in that vessel take a closer look this tadpole crawled out of his head all right of course now nothing give me your be careful I'm with I'm truly true. But first, must because you should all be not whatever. If you can find, I wish I all good. Take it one step at a time. Now. Relevant, you ever notice face fighters or an infinite source of simple toxin services? Never seen anyone using that. Oh, that's uh, I mean, yeah, they they do it when they attack, right? Also, when they get hit, I think. not overly useful considering how common simple toxin is, but maybe that's a source of a poison dip in like a no looting run or something. Very short duration though. Lead simple toxin throwing their corpse creates a new surface. Unfortunately for no looting, picking up a corpse is probably looting. But a no consoles run, carrying around uh, a face fighter corpse for access to simple toxin, I think it's pretty cool. Or honestly, maybe just even on a, a throw build, like, what if you just throw it at people? Would would they get the the poison applied to them? Always room for more. Alright, if Raphael gets me on this one, then, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shit. I'm just gonna, gonna defecate. Immediately. From death, I get my dead spider. Never here. Wanted the easy path. Sounds like something an edgy D and D character would do. <clears throat> Raphael, you motherfucker! Don't do me like this again. Okay. 
That's how that's supposed to go. New PB! <laughs> this time I used a strength potion and jumped at a an angle where I had a little more air. I think I'll do that going forward. Promise I've been here all day. Hey, Messi. Uh, I, I can vouch you were there at the start of the stream. I'll be your alibi. Free bread? We'll get the free bread later, Dutch. We still get that. Else? Ring of Flinging, which is going to be a huge damage dealing option for me the entirety of the run. It's one of many pieces of Act 1 gear that's just straight up awesome the whole game. It'll make making excuses for my crimes much easier. Ooh, crimes? Are we doing crime? Let's go. You gotta support your homies, even in their misdeeds. Promise. Yeah, may as well. A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. No animal speaking, too. Those are to sell to people situationally. that says be gay do crime it's my favorite it's good advice So next priority is to recruit Will and Karlak. Now I have to be kind of careful with Will, because if I do too much uh, XP whoring with Will actually recruited, his approval will bottom out and he'll leave. Unless I have him dead in camp and I pet Scratch next to his corpse. Then he won't be mad at me anymore. I just want you to know that not a single bit of that was exaggeration. That is the exact process. Right, I do have to long rest before going to Bladed Village. Actually, I don't. I have gold. Use the south entrance. 
And you always have to prepare when using the south entrance chat. Take notes. I won't steer you wrong. Can I pet that dog? <laughs> uh, Will's dead right now. Also, I don't hear Will's yapping. I don't. I don't listen to Will much, so uh, I don't. I don't have like negative opinion on it, on it or anything. I, yeah, we'll trigger this. People up ahead. Something's wrong. You eat the mark glows. But you see the injured man locks eyes. You do you have orders for us? But I told Edward not to look in that cave. It was built. The cave is strange soul. Absolute. Oh, three. What were they raised? Strange pain while as its host's memories go to waste. The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could not your muscles loosen. Let me, let me target you. I have to pick up. An XP for killing that tadpole. It's a no tadpole run, so. The color of her hair. Yeah, I usually just click randomize for my custom characters on honor runs because I don't expect them to live long and I don't want to get attached. I just kind of randomize until they have main character energy. Fading with our hold off on assigning level 3. For vendor attitude purposes. But if I'm stealing from Volo this run, that's a much better source of income. If I can afford to bribe people at higher levels. XP. Thank you. I'm supposed to live long. Guy who hasn't had a death in like five runs. Well, this is attempt two today. Regiment. So, uh, we, we we've had a death today. Appreciate your confidence, though. How you doing? Going through the south entrance here to the Blighted Village lets you uh, make a donation of uh, 50 gold, I think. Um, I already forgot. To get in. Checklist. You don't have to use your lipid mark or anything. That's hilarious. Yeah, it's just funny. Like, I'm not even the slightest bit upset over that. The start of that run was really blessed, and it was it was bound to even out in some really funny way. And it did. So I pick Origin run enough to create a character. Yeah, if there was a, an Origin that started as a monk... I'd really consider doing them rather than using a custom. But since there isn't, uh, and I do want to do this run as monk specifically. Custom it is. Do 
He's gonna watch the run instead of nap. Well, I hope I can I can lull you to sleep so you get some some good rest. Go for vacation. Too. Gonna save the mirror for uh, getting inspo later. That's crazy, yeah. <laughs> A well guarded laboratory. What were they hiding down here? great I'm broke now that's a sentence the third monkey come up with that bomb shot right there it seems like a handy thing to do no no uh, I started doing that uh, on my own I'm sure someone thought of it before I did completely positive but just uh relatively recently i was like hey we use uh bombs and stuff to get through other places with lovers why don't i just do this and it worked so now i do it every run what's the next stop how much gold do i have not that much um Let's go get the uh, plus one dagger. That's a friendly looking shadow. I have to keep going. Well, let's actually go do this first. There's a light hammer in here and a dagger. Stuff to sell. More XP. Use the origin character mod, change their class from the starting screen. I could, but then that would be like getting an advantage from a mod. Um, I I wouldn't feel fantastic about that. Because one of the restrictions on this run is also no respecs, and you can only achieve that result um, without a mod by respecking as soon as Withers is in your camp, which is not available until um, either reaching the goblin camp or freeing him from the tomb after killing all of the undead down there uh, and then also that it that does require a respect beast fit for an ogre you know but on run where respects allowed dagger protruding yeah. from the tough well. leathery the dagger is tightly embedded in the dagger still juts from the meat dagger still juts from the meat almost sounds like a proverb when you when you say it enough the dagger is tightly embedded in the carcass. The dagger still juts from the meat. You notice the blade thanks. Moving ahead. Good throwable.
Does anyone know if you recruit Carlac while Will is dead, does he still disappear? Like, part of me wants to rush getting Helldusk armor and that XP, but I should really take my time. Sure about them almost every time after the gate fight. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go revive them. These boots have seen everything. Um, That's curious. thought process was getting XP for a bunch of tieflings without um, losing will approval, but honestly, I don't need to prioritize XP that much on this run. Level 8 is the last level that matters, because I don't need anything more than that for um, Act 2. Level 9 is nice for proficiency bonus, but that'll happen. No traps, please. And then level 12, easy, in Act 3. Like after the fight had taken place. Yeah, he's still dead there. He'll stay there uh until I revive him. I just wasn't sure if um our life thing removes him. Something I wish I knew the answer to. That's okay. Find out another time. Um I time to get goblin camp access by smearing shit on my face. Drowla doing Merkel, blood money. I also like dual wielding dagger, plus one on a hunter's dagger is a good early game setup for a melee character. It is. I'll assign level 3 now. Shadow. Yeah. Are you sure your phase XP? No, but it lets you get past these guys without a check. One of those can summon fire. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illicit power is beyond reach until you. Rest of it is it be said. Nice to have this across the mug. <laughs> Whatever calls you. Go on, mate. Enjoy the fest. The work hour at concerts? Yes, actually. It especially works well when you um when you do it as frequently as possible. The best way to make friends is uh, to, to slide into someone's DMs and ask if you can smear their shit on your face. Got encumbered by the artifact. What do you mean? Sounds like they've captured themselves a bar. Ah, ah. 
Wait. Of course, man. Look in his bended. Barzy shoes. We'll be coming back for gloves of archery once I have more money. Fortunately, that getting branded doesn't uh, damage you. Needs to touch you. You ready? As part of the vision dissolves away. So maybe I can help. Oi! Priestess! Like us. We want them all. Why do they think they're yeah. talking to God? Yeah. I'm not good enough for this. No. Okay, so it's um 600 gold to get Rose attitude up to max right now. Full oh, vigilance. I'm buying that at full price. That's so worth it. Back up a darkness roll to sell two particular individuals. Start packing up throwables. Not much, to be honest. Pleasure. No, no pleasure right now. Thank you. Appreciate the offer, though. Feeding perception here is uh, nice, but I can't. I'm not small enough to get through there. 
and uh, no deluxe edition items on this run, so I have no means of disguising myself until Act 3. No deluxe edition items and no scrolls. Save this guy. It's 35 XP. Cost of an invis pot, but it's 35 XP. Sometimes I'm lucky and Zerg is over here on my first visit. You think the dwarf is ready yet? I'm not gonna try Volo. Verac, we just murder, but not yet. Rags and talkie talkie, not yet. Let's go um sneak past Palma, get under dark access. Bloodless? Nice. Uh, but a while since I've, I've done this wall uh, so deep into stream, my, my brain cells are not uh, present. cycle but one day I'll actually learn the puzzles in this game not today but one day
bit early, but... back to loot this place more thoroughly later. Grabbing some essentials right now. That's that. It's carry weight. What do I have that's even so heavy? Oh, this is a uh, haste helm chest, right? try to succeed strength. If we fail that, then I'll leave it alone. I have multiple Featherfall potions. Surprise. Stop it. Stop it. Please shoot. You. Time to skulk about. Careful. Even the mushrooms down here can't be trusted. How much farther can I go? I have another antidote for Sula, right? Don't Dwega. Ah, why are you helping me? Garter. Not I've got away, but not the other. Uh hmm. What is the creep? Have the the I sense your resolve. The you do the circle as early game checking a lot of XP boxes. It's almost where a character would take fall damage there. On his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. Ooh, Daris got a vigilance already too? 
bag that up, because I'm gonna buy it, just... Other stuff gotta get first. Yeah, a lot of stuff I need to sell to Damon. Basically, we sell to Damon because I'll get better overall monetary value, then I take the cash from that transaction, and then I invest that in, um... Blurg, Dareth, Row, Moonglow. Maybe not Blurg this run. I'm so used to doing, um, getting Blurg attitude other runs, but we won't see Blurg again after Act 1, whereas, uh, Dareth will be in Act 3, Row will be in Act 2. So, best in our future vendors. Uh, rescuing Balin for Kushigo Gloves uh, should be high in my priority list. That's um, another long-term damage-increasing item. Using that the whole run. Especially because um, I wasn't able to route Helldust Gloves in. We get flawed Helldust Gloves, sure. Um, but there's also a lot of things that Necrotic isn't as valuable as increasing the base or that can't bleed. So good old Kushigo. Need to get another Invis pot to do Arcane Tower. I'll invest a feather fall potion here. Ulvik. Wanted it to be Lurgan. Took too wide of a line. His fist grips an axe. On his. <laughs> but spoil my hunt. Kill the slave and pep. I'll wait here. But that comes later. But... Could have bought his misty stuff, but I really don't think it's a big deal that he has it. The Lurgan's there. Need another water from, from Shadowheart. From our uh, campsite. Sorry, I need you to bathe more often so I have water to throw at people, okay? Thank you. Appreciate it. You don't call her sharp for nothing. Failed perception here. We'll need to come back once I have to speak with that amulet. That's Seated. Nice.
guy. He did make that sound. I don't have the invis that I need for this yet, right? Okay. No working tower yet. in this chest. I don't actually know what's in this one. A potion of healing. Uh, cool. So, sell stuff to damage. Like to be known, Sam just followed you after everything you've done for him. This is how he treats you. I just need the time, okay? I thought I meant more. I thought I, I really thought I meant more. But, you know, I'll get through this. I'll get through this. miserably. Those are what happened. Thanks, Burp, a lot. At least somebody, somebody appreciates the struggles I go through every day. Looking for steel? Uh, well, something close. Um, I have way more healing potions than I need. I'll off some of those. Vision, burning hands, sure. That, put that away. Don't point that at me. Just look over it, and Jake has his 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 ankle behind his his head. Like, sure, a cat can do that to themselves, but but when I do that on stream, that's a bannable. No justice. I, I didn't ask for this. I, I don't mean to, to, to drive a rift. Oh no.
the darkness arrows. Throwables. Be nice. Mean you do it off stream? Don't ask questions you already know the answer to. Or do. It's up to you. Throwables now, damn it. We kind of want hunting shortbow, but perhaps it can wait. A bow of awareness more urgent. True. Now that I've done that, back to the goblin camp. Uh, we're gonna get Row Moonglow's attitude to max, buy the bow, and maybe that'll be it for today. It's been only eight hours, but um, doing the routing and now going to the real run. Oh, actually, I autopiloted. I can't go through here. I went through the the top. See, this is why I eight hours I start playing uh not smart everyone else minds their business I'll be fine Bath lies before me oh better not be cursed I'm going this way because I didn't talk my way past the front door guards um, until I talk my way past them, or kill them, this is how I get into the goblin camp, or I guess I could go through this Lunite outpost. Um, once I'm willing to pop an elixir of vigilance, I can try to talk my way past them, and if I fail, I just run out, and don't try that again. Zergo walking around. Moving ahead. Yeah, where, where is Zergo? Getting... Killing Zergo would be real nice. Need something. All right, six hundred. Friends, now I can sell stuff to you too. Um, but first, I bow of awareness. This pot. Mm, I can afford the pot, but not the bow. How do I feel about that? Still have my healing potions. That covered the gap almost. Being a great club for lock picking purposes. Spell slot elixir, I won't need that. Arsonist oil. Thank you. Sleep potion, I don't want to sell to them. I don't need it, but I'm, I don't want to sell it to them. Them being any vendor. <laughs> it scares me. Okay. 
So now we just have um, one better to get attitude with now. Um, and I've not done much in terms of uh, gold making endeavors. It's looking pretty good. Once I hit level four. Um, we probably go for Joaquin's Rest, then recruit Will, then recruit Carlac, then get Helldusk Armor. What do you think, Jake? Well, I'm throwables right now. Feels nice. Uh, any convenient charlatan inspos I can get that I won't want to be banking for later. Uh, deceiving my way past any group of goblins. I guess I could try for the front door group. I don't really know what their initiative is. And Vigilance Elixirs are something I don't want to spend years going in for. I'll worry about that tomorrow. Let's make a save. Name change? Yeah, yeah, Messy the Goblin now. Just an existing nickname, just now uh, solidified. I like it. Okay, that's it for today, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for all the support. Um, let's see who's who's on right now. Let's see, Cass is doing co-op with Kitty Quisitor. Um, Kaylee's doing co-op with Glenn. Duo one HP, nice. Um, and Mark's on. Uh, ooh, looks like Mark is in Act Two. The star and run. Love to see that. Let's go over there. Maybe my coworker today is you are every day. I appreciate you, Messi. Um, thank you, everybody. Y'all are great. I will be live tomorrow. I kind of still want to try to attempt one variety day at some point this week, but we'll see how much I hyperfixate on um on this run, and uh, maybe we get a co-op day in with uh with mark with the uh Asphus heroes run uh, as it's right now still unplanned but we'll, we'll figure something out uh if you got my emotes feel free to uh to jiggle uh but i appreciate you i'll see you next time Bye bye